Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm going live right now. I'm gonna just get it. We live right now. What's up? Just hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. We're going live. Okay. Set the stage with the lights off. Let the little nigga breathe to the fight sloth. You ain't never like the moon with the bright sauce. Hail Mary, they despise what the light brought. Let them roach niggas bleed if they can't see. No side near the TV, what you can't be. They say that murder on my mind, now they can't breathe. Take a picture of the proof, that's your last peep. Oh, and need me or love, yeah, that's just me. Just keep them jumping like some frogs, so they might be. Yeah. And they don't really wanna bleed from the gun playing like mine, nigga smoking weed on the one way street, nigga. Yeah, we see we outside with it. Pull up to the base like we might be with it on guard. Side these niggas like bullshit and they fraud. Let me chop them down with the saw. Walk them down like they live hard. If you diss each other, you gon' be in, we too hard. And you don't really want that smoke, my G. With B side net on TV, this is the toughest environment, the toughest environment. to Brother Herman Smalls in the toughest environment you can be in. This is exactly what I've been hoping for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Elaine, this motherfucker. All right, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. We coming in. Everybody already know what time it is. This is the toughest environment to be in. We got Chief X in the building. He ain't scared. He pulled up. He said, I'm coming in. And he's flexing on you right now. So you already know what it is. He got his pipe on him. And so when he got his pipe, you already know he about to go in, man. Make no mistake about it. But Chief X, I want to let you know, you know Smash is watching. Jabari is watching, Dr. Reggie is watching, and Shaka Upmost is watching. All I'm going to say is be careful, brother. <laughs> be careful what you say. Be careful what you source up because it might be used against you. And so without any further ado, I bring to you my brother, your brother, Chief X is in the building. <laughs> 
What's up, That's Chief? what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can you hear me good? I hear you loud and clear. Look in here, Sonetta. I'm hoping your people ain't leave you hanging. They got scared on you? What? Nah, I, I shot them the link. They just coming after my presentation. Okay. Okay. Right. So I got I got to lay down the road map. Go ahead. And they coming after my presentation. But so I, this is going to be ugly for the Egyptomaniacs, right? I'm mm -hmm. representing West Side. Put the screen on me, Sa. I got something to say. I'm representing West Side, West Africa. I'm from West and Central Africa. I got my gear on today. Who we come from? Akan, Fulani, Hausa, Igbo, Mande, Wolof, Yoruba, West African American, West Side. I'm representing the Sante gang. I'm just having fun, but yes, <laughs> that's what it is. West Coast LA, West Africa. I'm representing the West today. That's all I'm trying to say. And guess what, sir? This is dedicated to the entire organization, ASCAC. Oh, wow. I'm calling them all Dang. out. You're I'm so not just worried that. about the students like Smash, Reggie, Jabari, uh, 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 Shaka Amos. You going for I, I want the top. Uh. I want ASCAC. And I'm bringing the pain today. So this is dedicated to Smash Rockwell, Reggie, Jabari, Shaka Amos, and every single person in ASCAC. Let's go. Okay. Come back so, on the screen, um, sir. <laughs> All right. So let's get it in, man. Let's get it in. The topic is, you're dealing with the topic today. It's called um, Black Egypt Kemet Debunk. This is the final nail that you call it in the coffin. So he is putting the final nail in the coffin. According to Chief X, you got the floor, brother. Let's get it. So check this out. I, let me open up. <clears throat> um, I understand, first of all, that I'm in the lion's den right now. You, you're promoting this as the toughest environment in America, right? I'm in a tough environment. I already know if you took a poll, it's going to be 90% against me, 10% with me. I already know this, right? I know I'm in the lion's den. Uh, uh, you're the home team, and I'm traveling to the home team today. I get it. So I just want to make sure the moderators are doing their job and keeping the chat respectful, first yes. of all. Right? I'm not here to insult nobody. I'm not here to be disrespectful to anyone. I come in peace, right? I just want to share the information, right? Forget me right for right now. It's really not about Chief X. Okay, so let me say this. I want all moderators on deck. Let's give our brother Chief X a fair hearing. We want to hear him out. This is like in court. We want to hear the brother out, especially the mods already know not to go against the guests. So the mods ain't going to be going against you. But... We got a system now that I've been asking YouTube for, and we don't have to um, block them, but what we can do is time them out for 24 hours, or we could time them out for a half an hour. So we give them a break the first time. We give them a little 20-minute time out. If they do it again, then we go up to a half an hour. And if they do it again, then we time them out for the whole day where they won't be up in the building. Y'all got the green light to do that. And um, all moderators know is not to go against the guests. They already know that, Chief. So this is the best chat room on YouTube. My, my Mars is the best on YouTube. So without any further ado, I pass you the mic, Chief. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So throughout this discourse, don't even worry about me. It's not about Chief X. It's about the information. The information. Throughout this discourse, I guarantee you not a thing I say will be incorrect, first of all. Everything I say, I will show and prove, second of all. So when this is over and you address me, question, answer, period, or what have you on later on down the line, in the comments, all that talking, if you can't disprove what I said tonight wrong, I'm right. And it's, we have to let the foolish pride go. 
I know we have these beliefs and things we believe in and things that we were taught over the decades. And if some new information comes, it's okay to ride with the truth. And let your foolish pride, let the beliefs go and say, you know what? I didn't know that. Thank you, Chief X. Right? So <clears throat> why am I doing this and why am I on this subject? Chief X got tattoos of comedic artwork all on my sleeve. When I came into the movement in 1992 and then start following Ashwa Kwesi in 1995 because Ashwa Kwesi used to live in L.A. He lived in Dallas now, but Ashwa Kwesi used to live in L.A. And this is where I met him and attended all his lectures. And this is where I got caught up in what I called myself at the time, an Egyptomaniac. So I used to be where you guys are at. So I'm not going against you. I'm just I've learned something new and I'd like to share it. And I've changed in my thinking. I've changed the belief I used to have. So I'm here to do this presentation and prove that Egypt was not a land or a country of black folk, Negro mm. folk, Ooh. whatever you want to term it. Because now when I put on, when I, when I made the video Black Egypt to debunk three years ago, people start acting like they don't know what black folk is. Sinetta is a black man. I'm a black man. In America, when they say Black History Month, you know who they're talking about. You know what those people in the cotton fields of America look like, black folk. So let's not play around with terms, okay? I know black is a social construct. I get it. But guess what? We're on social media talking about a social construct in societies. Everything is not always uh, 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 what you would consider a science topic. Right. Sometimes we're just talking about population and uh, 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 who, who, what kind of people are. When someone shoots up a school, the first thing people want to know in America, was he black or was he white? That's the first thing people want to know. They say, oh, he was white. He's, oh, OK. He was black. Oh, OK. You know who black folk is. So let's just get on off that. So I'm ready to go ahead and share. Oh. I made this because I want to bring our people back to West Central Africa. We need to talk about West Central Africa and where we come from. We are not Egyptians. We're not descendants of Egyptians. Our ancestors aren't Egyptians. Egyptians, Berbers, North Africans, people from the Near East, Arabs are considered Caucasian in forensic science and in physical anthropology. I didn't say white. I'm not referring to Germans in England and in, in Irish people and in, 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 in Portuguese and in, in French. I'm not talking about them people. When I say Caucasoid or Caucasian, there's people in the Caucasus. Berbers are Caucasoid people, okay? So I just wanna make these distinctions, so. And I'm ready to go in. Are you ready for me, Sa? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so um, when I share my screen, is it going to be full on here or? If you want it to be. Well, I'm just, yeah. So I just want to be. want it to be a full what screen? I, what I'm sharing, I would like people to see clearly. Yes. All okay. right. I'm going to give it a full screen. Okay, cool. So check this out. First of all, I want to let, let us know. Let me share my screen. Okay, I'm sharing my system audio, and here we go. You are, you are up and running. Okay, first of all, we have to know who we are, okay? Uh, I must get to talking, but I'm leading up to things. We have to use a lot of common sense uh, um, when we're talking today, right? And logic. This is a deep subject and a vast subject, so I have to cover different areas. I have to knock down myths, you know what I mean? I have to knock down beliefs and make you see things clearly. So just bear with us and just listen, and I guarantee you nothing I say will be wrong today. First of all, we are, let me get to where I had highlighted. Can you see that, saw? First of all, okay. First of all, we are 
tropical Africans. We come from the tropics. The Sahara Desert in North Africa is arid Africa or Mediterranean Africa. We're tropical Africans. You have to understand that. Our people come from the tropics. And the tropics is, let me make this a little smaller so I can see what I'm doing. Let me skip that. Egyptians in Egypt are, is a Mediterranean country. Black folk are not Mediterranean people. Right? List of Mediterranean countries, just so you understand. Egypt in North Africa is a Mediterranean country. Libya is a Mediterranean country. Tunisia is a Mediterranean country. Algeria is a Mediterranean country. Morocco is. Rome, Greece. It is in the Mediterranean basin, and these people are Mediterranean people. Okay, are we clear on that? Black folk didn't do business and trade and, and, and get around in the Mediterranean world. Nubians were not part of the Mediterranean world. You have to understand that. This Let me just make sure my everything is sharing and showing. Okay, this is what you consider tropical Africa. North Africa is not tropical Africa. We also come from forest areas in Ghana, Nigeria, in the Congo. Okay? We have to be clear on this and know who we are and know who we are not. That's the point of this discussion. Okay? <clears throat> Egypt is also, we have to understand this because of its location and it's different than other countries in Africa. Where right I hear it's telling you Egypt, <coughs> officially the Arab Republic of Egypt, is a transcontinental country. Meaning it's connected to the Mediterranean, it's connected to Africa, it's connected to West Asia. They are unique. In that sense, the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa is not connected to West Asia, the Levant, the Near East. This is why Canaan used to be a colony of Egypt. You have to understand that, right? So it's a transcontinental country spanning the northeast corner of Africa, southwest corner of Asia, right? Sinai Polisola, and it's the only contiguous Euphrasian nation. You have to understand this, right? <clears throat> Egypt was also, just to let you know, it was Mediterranean. Egypt was the, this is a history uh, 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 channel website. Egypt was the preeminent civilization in the Mediterranean world for almost 30 centuries. Understand that. Egypt was the preeminent civilization in the Mediterranean world for almost 30 centuries. Not Nubia. They were not part of the, the, the Mediterranean world. North Africans are Mediterranean. Egyptians are Mediterranean. We have to understand that. Black folk, Negroid people are not Mediterranean. Preeminent civilization, meaning they were, they were the best, the, the majority. They were running stuff. Understand that. Now, I want to drive this point home, and I'm going to move on. I made this video when I was at a food event, and I ran into a Tunisian and North African. Let him tell you who they are. When I made this video, black folk got mad because they weren't part of the Mediterranean world. North Africans know and say they are Mediterranean people. Let's see. Oh, I'm at this, he's selling Mediterranean food. He's from Tunisia. And on his sausage he's selling, it says Mediterranean traditional food. 
Tunisia. And he's from Tunisia. I am from Tunisia. Do you consider yourself Mediterranean? I am Mediterranean. Half of the countries <laughs> of the Mediterranean. Beautiful Tunisia is the pearl of the Mediterranean. We I keep telling y'all. All the food is good. <laughs> Look, Mediterranean yeah, food. No. They're North Africans. are Mediterranean people. Yeah, we got uh, a tuna too. Who? <laughs> tuna? Uh -huh. Preserved tuna. Oh, okay, tuna. nice. Okay, pause. Just letting you know so you can understand who's Mediterranean people and who is not Mediterranean people, right? Now, let's move on to this. People for a long time considered let me just go ahead and find this one second one second so let me find this photo I have to show this photo Okay, I'll show this one. Here we go. This is Queen T, a T. People for decades have been lying to you guys, saying that this is an Afro. And they use this picture and many other to act like she had an Afro and she was a black woman. No, this is dark yellow wood. It's a bust. Now, you see the two holes in the top this is a headdress it's not an afro it's a headdress where the snake or uraeus came out of where you see the two holes you can pull this off it's not an afro and smash reggie jabari shaka almost knows this i don't know why they keep lying to you about it right so just so you understand those two holes are for your rest, and you can pull this headdress off. Now, let's break this down. One second. Let me find the proper video for this one. Hope I did not. Okay, let me just, let me go here real quick. This is an important picture you guys have to see and understand about. Right here. <coughs> this is Queen T. Right? In the headdress. This headdress used to have blue. As you can see right here fiance beads on it before they were removed and taken off and if it was complete it would look just like this headdress it's not hair family i don't know why they keep lying to you about that you cannot disprove this this is just the reality and you see it circled right here you may not be sure clear but we're going to clear this up and down here is the real Queen T, her mummy. She never had Afro hair. She has Caucasian hair. Why? Because Queen T is part of the Armana dynasty, what they call the New Kingdom. And we know what the, new, new, what the DNA of the New Kingdom is. She has Caucasoid hair. This is not an Afro. This is primary evidence. So if someone's showing you a bus, they are misleading you. That's Queen T and her mummy. And this is what she had on her hair, head. Okay? Let's be clear on that. So I have to knock down a few myths first so we can get an understanding. Now. Let's play the video so you can get an understanding. You guys say St. Bring sources, right? Okay. These are experts breaking down to you what it is. This is just a brief video.
One of the most interesting women in all of Egyptian history began her life as the daughter of a bureaucrat, but would marry the pharaoh of Egypt. She would then be demoted upon his death and would simply be the queen mother. But her son would then elevate her status substantially, making her divine, making her a goddess. So much of that history can be seen in this tiny sculpture of Queen Tia. There's a clear sense of her nobility, even though she began in a relatively modest way as a commoner, although with fairly high status. She looks out and past us here, and there's no doubt she's a queen. She's completely unapproachable. And we may also be getting a sense here of what she looked like. There seem to be some individual characteristics. She seems to be a little bit older. We can see lines extending below her nose on either side of her cheek. And there are some distinctive facial characteristics. So perhaps we have a little bit of a window into what she really looked like. The face and neck are made out of yew wood, this beautiful dark wood. The eyes are made out of ebony. Looked like. The face and neck are made out of yew wood, this beautiful dark wood. The eyes to what she really looked like. The face and neck are made out of yew wood, this beautiful dark wood. The eyes are made out of ebony and alabaster. And then there's some other materials as well. Gold and some of the semi-precious stone lapis lazuli is visible just under that headdress that seems to have been chipped away. That's right. What we're seeing are, in fact, evidence of these changes in T.A.'s life. Underneath the headdress that we see her in now would have been a gold headdress that signified her status as the queen, as the wife of the pharaoh. And we can also see that in the two gold clips that we see on the forehead that are evidence of where that crown would have been worn. There would have been a cobra place there, the insignia of royalty. That was presumably removed when her husband died, and she actually fell in status to that of queen mother. But she was so important and so smart, and her son depended on her so much that in order to have her be able to actively participate in politics and the affairs of the royal court, he elevated her status to one of a goddess. And that's when this headdress would have been added. This would have been spectacular when it was first made. Now it simply looks a little bulbous. But if you look a little bit to the back right of the skull, listen. You can just make out some brilliant blue faience beads that catch the light and really shimmer. You can just make out some brilliant blue faience beads that catch the light and really shimmer. You can just make out some brilliant blue faience beads that catch the light and really shimmer. You can just make out some brilliant blue faience beads that catch the light and really shimmer. That would It's not an afro, people. Would have covered the entire headdress, and so she would have looked regal and almost celestial, appropriate to a goddess. Her headdress extends upward where we see Headdress, they said, not an afro. See horns, a solar disc, and two feathers. Now that solar disc may refer to the religion founded by her son, Akhenaten. Akhenaten got rid of Egypt's traditional polytheistic religion and established a monotheistic religion centered give us a sense of her importance, her power, her son's respect for her, and gives us just a little glimpse in Pause. Now, I've just proved that it's not an afro. Right? And we have to stop it. This is what it would look like with them fiance beads on it, fully decorated. It's a headdress. Are we clear now? That's what you call showing and proving. Right? So let's move on. <clears throat> Queen T. And let's just show real quick so people won't be confused. Let me just show you what she is. Let me just show you what she is. Now, we have a list because, as you know, the New Kingdom, some of the mummies and people in the New Kingdom, has their DNA been tested? And let's just go down the list. List of DNA tested mummies. When you get down here to Queen T, as you see, let's blow it up. We don't want nobody to be confused. Queen T. When you go to the right, you see K. MTDNA K is Queen T. MTDNA K is West Asian. 
Queen T's ancestors, forefathers, come from West Asia. I didn't make this up. You got to deal with this. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, I'm going to speak a bit about the Nubians to let you know there's a distinction between Nubians or Kushites and Egyptians. For a long time, um, let me just go ahead. For a long time, People used to say the Kushites and the Egyptians are the same people. That's not true. It's far from the truth. Nubians were Egyptians' enemies. This is at the Walter Art Museum, right? And Nubia was considered a vassal state or a tributary state. Where is it at? So you can see. A vassal state or tributary state that offered tribute or were bound to Egypt by diplomatic treaties. Okay? Just so you understand, what is a tributary state, she effects? A tributary state, we just read what a vassal state is. A tributary state is a pre excuse me. I hope everybody can see this. A tributary state is a Oops. Yeah, we are. We are. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Say what, sir? Everybody. 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 Yeah, press, press. No, no. Okay, cool. A tributary state is a pre modern, right? Ancient Egypt and in, 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 in Kushites. It's a pre modern state that, in particular type, in a particular type of what? Subordinate relationship to a more powerful state. Who's the more powerful state? Egypt. Who's the tributary state? Kushites and Nubians. I'm going to prove all this. To a more powerful state, which involves sending of regular tokens of submission or tribute to the superior power. What are tokens of submission and, and tribute they bring? And I'm going to show you the whole tribute scene. They bring in them gold and trinkets and animal skins and luxury items, right? They pay in tribute to a superior power. Token often took the form of substantial transfer of wealth, such as gold, produce, and slaves. So Nubians were bringing Egyptians gold, produce, and slaves, paying tribute for what? Protection money. So the Egyptians said, if you run us that gold, we will protect you and not keep fucking you up. Excuse my language, so I'm sorry. <laughs> And not keep, you know, they had to pay protection money. I'll prove all this. Let's go here to, to, um, what did they call it? Tomb of Owners. Now, mind you, Memphis University, as you see right here, Memphis University Institute of Egyptian Art and Archaeology. They give you links to ancient Egyptian tombs and temples to help you guys understand and help their students learn. And they recommend tombs of ancient Egypt right here. Memphis University does. So let's go to the tombs of ancient Egypt, which Memphis University recommends their students to learn from. Here we go. And remember about all the tribute and things like that. Here we go. This is the tomb of Hoy. Right? Let's scroll down. The tomb owners and his family, right? <coughs> so, Amenhotep Hoy probably began his career during the reign of Amenhotep and culminating his appointment with Tutankhamun's kings of Sun, excuse me, king son of Kush, the overseer of southern countries. 
Let me make this big so people can see. During the reign of Amenhotep, culminating with his appointment as Tutankhamun's kings of the sons of Cush, overseer of the southern countries. They talk about of Nubians, Sudan, Cushites, and all that gold they about to get, and all the tribute that they have to pay. pay. But first, let me get to this tribute scene real quick, so you guys can understand. This is very important to understand. Bam. All right. Here's the tribute scene that we're about to go over and talk about. The Egyptians were different than the Nubians. The Nubians or the Kushites would be considered Negroid. Some of them were mixed, right? Here's the tribute scene. Who are these Nubians paying tribute to, bowing down to, and worshiping? You see them. Bowing down, giving honor, and worshiping. You see they're carrying gold and paying tribute. Who are they paying tribute to, Chief X? I'm going to show you in a second. Here's some slaves who are bound with red ropes tied around their neck. And their hands are bound by rope. I know the Afrocentrics didn't teach this this way. They didn't want you to know that. Shame on Brother Reggie. Shame on Jabari. Shame on Smash. Shame on Shaka Amos. They are bound here, and we're going to break it down because Memphis University says so. Right? And they're also on ships right here to the right, bound on ships, being carried over to be given away. Because when people pay tribute, they give up slaves that the superior nation may take on as concubines or what have you, or as slave labor. Okay? So all these Nubians and Kushites of Lower Nubia and Upper Nubia, they're all mixed up, bringing animal skins, produce, gold and trinkets, right? Right? You see these dark folk, brown and black. You see them. Okay, let's go. Who are they paying tribute to? Who are these people bowing down to right here? Let's see. When you go to the end, right here, to King Tut, this Caucasian. This is not a Negroid. This is King Tut with the fan bearer and these Negroids. Oops. Here are bowing down. Damn, excuse me. Are bowing down to King Tut. You have to understand this. I'm, I'm doing this because I'm letting you know they are different nations. King Tut is of Mediterranean stock. He is of West Asian stock. He is different than the Nubians that's, give, he, that's bowing down and get paying honor to him. So prove all that, Chief X. Okay, now, when you go to the list of mummy DNA, guess who they got? King Tut right here. What is he? MTDNAK, West Asian. So Nubians, Kushites, are bowing down, giving honor to them Caucasian West Asians. That's what King Tut is. Did I make this up? This is what the science says, not Chief X. It's nothing I said so far that anyone can prove wrong or say I'm wrong on because I'm showing and proving everything. Now, let's get back to them explaining this and letting you know that they were the overseer of the southern countries.
Egypt and Nubia in the 18th dynasty, we will discuss much about Nubia in the pages that follow, so an introduction to the subject seems useful. At the beginning of the 18th dynasty, once the Hyksos invaders were driven from the north, Amenhotep I decided to extend his grasp all over Nubia and make it, as we would say today, what? A colony. A subject of them. By removing the ancient kingdom of Cush, the new province, which Egyptians called Taseti, the country of the bow, because of the characteristics, weapons used by the inhabit. Let me just make this bigger. Well, let's read along. We don't want to be fooled today. Right? <clears throat> because of the characteristics weapon used by its inhabitants is directly administered by Egyptian officials. Egyptian officials was administering it. Under the authority of what we call a viceroy, which Egyptians designated as the king's sons of Cush, overseer of the southern countries. He is assisted in this task by a chief of the archers. There go the chief of the archers. <laughs> Follow me for a second. And lieutenant generals, one from the north, Wawat, lower Nubia, and the other from for the south, Cush itself, upper Nubia, right? Now bear with me and understand this. Nubia had very important place in the economy of imperial Egypt, imperialism, imperial Egypt, as it was its main gold provider. Run that gold. That's all they cared about, getting luxury goods and running that gold, especially from the country of Wawat. Nubia was also a slave labor reservoir. Black folk have always been enslaved by people from the north. Berbers, Arabs, North Africans, Egyptians for a long time, right? And provided value archers for the army and for the police, police troops. Guess who the police was? The Magi. The archers. They were desert police. You can look up who the Magi are. They're the police. They will be what we consider turncoats. They was guarding the gold, the fortresses, certain lands for Egyptians because Egyptians hired Nubians, put their ass on the front line to die just in case any rebellions went down. The Magi was the police. They was policing niggas. Excuse me. Black folk. From rebellion and doing anything. That's who the Magi archers are. The police. And they was fighting against other Negroids or even Asiatics. Because Asiatics and the Nubians was Egyptians' enemies. Are we clear? And they call these tribes of Kush expressive names like the Scarred. Braid carriers. Those who dress in skin. Nahisi. Face burned and curly hair. They were talking about Negroids. Right? You want to see who the scarred are? Let's talk about it. Let me find the picture. A good picture. Hold on. And we're going to move forward. Right here. With the scars on the forehead. I'm cooking tonight. I'm cooking tonight. The scar. The curly head. That's what they're talking about. And. It said if the Nubian elites are subservient to Egypt, this is not the case with tribes that inhabited these regions which rebelled regularly against colonial rule. 
they was having colonial rule over the Negroids. Right? Egypt must therefore put down those revolts by what? Police or military. The Magi. Prisoners taken at the time or during raids were sent as slave labor to work in Egypt. I don't know why Smash, Reggie, Jabari, Shaka Amos didn't tell you about the slave labor of them Kushites and Nubias in Egypt. They were different people is what I'm saying. It says Nubia in the retinue do provide prisoners and slaves. I showed you that in the procession with them bound by ropes, they provided them slaves and prisoners. Slaves and prisoners. Right? So let's move on. Let's move on real quick. So they even call between the Nubian chiefs, frankly, Negroid. Right, let's, let's, let's all see it. Negroid. The Egyptians, the North Africans, the Mediterranean people, the people in the Near East, the Levant, they're not Negroids and never have been. Are we cooking? Let's move on. Let's go to page two real quick. So, you see where it says right here, they pay in tribute. Excuse me, let's just say it real big. The two people who paid tribute were the Asiatics and the Nubians. Tribute. I'm not making this tribute thing up. That's what was going on, right? So, where are we before we move forward? They also talk about right here, the overseer of the southern lands. Now, let's get to the tribute scenes. Well, they break all this down, and we're going to move on to another subject after this. They're bound. Ropes around their neck. Slaves. I know nobody taught it to you this way, but Chief H want to bring you the truth. This shows the grand arrival of Nubian tribute at Thebes. Well, who he presents it to who? Toot Uncommon. We've seen the tribute scene. We've seen the tribute scene right here. We've seen... That they're paying and giving honor to who? Toot Uncommon. The Caucasian. MTDNAK. Let's move forward. Presents it to who? Toot Uncommon. I'm, all I'm saying is Kush consists of mainly of raw materials, of course gold, but also other products, some of which come from the depths of Africa, ivory, precious woods, ostrich eggs, feathers, panther skins, exotic animals. However, in the tomb of Hoover, manufactured products are also found, particularly in the extraordinary gardens of goldsmithery. Okay, let's continue. So right here, it's talking about that boat that I showed you. Right here. So what are they talking about with these bound slaves being captives brought to Tut King Tut? The register shows boats of Nubians and Nubian captives, ostrich feathers stuck in their hair, are shown seated on the roof of the cabins. Their hands are shackled and their necks are tied by a white rope. This is so we can all see it. By a white rope. What else does it say? We will find them in the parade. 
That's the possession I just showed you. We have to be clear who these people are and who they are not. This is a recreation of that procession I was showing you. And in the top left, you see the Nubian bowing down to these people, to King Tut. Okay, so let's be, we're, we're clear on that. I think I can move on from this. Okay, so I have to break down and show you who you are and who you are not. First of all, we're not even Nubians. They're not even related to us West Central Africans. So I backed up what I was showing you about a tributary state paying honor and tribute, bringing gold to a more superior state. So let's move on. Um, so we're talking about the Armana period, right? And the Armana period was the 18th dynasty. Let me find my where I had underlined. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Armana period was at the end of the 18th dynasty during what? The New Kingdom period. Which Egypt was growing into a larger power and had conquered lands all along the Mediterranean Sea. Nubia and Negroids had nothing to do with the Mediterranean Sea or Mediterranean lands or doing business or trade on the Mediterranean, only Caucasians. It was the golden age. Right? So what do we have here? Let's do this. When we talk about mummies and unraveling ancient Egyptians' ancestry, right? Mummy DNA unravels ancient Egyptians' ancestry. Genetic analysis reveal a close relationship between Middle Easterns, not Central Africans. Like, like the video. The video. Thumb up, thumb up, the video. So let's roll on down. It says the tombs of Egypt have yielded golden collars and ivory braces, <clears throat> but another treasure, human DNA, has provide, excuse me, proved elusive. Because it's been hard to get some DNA from a lot of ancient mummies and things of that time period, right? Now scientists have captured sweeping genomic information from Egyptian mummies. It reveals that mummies were closely related to ancient Middle Easterns. I didn't make that up. This is what science says. Hinting that Northern Africans might have a different genetic route from people south of the Sahara. We are people of south of the Sahara. Meaning Egyptians has different roots than people south of the Sahara. So what they had is a study published 30 30th on 30 May in Nature's Communication includes data from 90 mummies buried between 1380 BC and Egyptians' New Kingdom. Who's in the New Kingdom? King Tut, Queen T. What I was showing you. These findings show the mummies' closest kin were ancient farmers from a region that includes present day Israel by Canaan and Jordan. Modern Egyptians, by contrast, have inherited more of the DNA from Central Africans. Modern Egyptians have little more from Central Africa and south of the Sahara in modern times because of the slave trade, but not the ancient Egyptians. So we have to be clear and understand they're also talking about 
the new kingdom because people said oh they just have a small sample only in a certain area the new kingdom and and these times where the romans and grecos will come oh that's crybaby stuff whatever they have it's not in sub-saharan africans favor okay you guys can read archaeological discoveries and historical documents suggest close ties between egypt and the middle east why because I said when we began, Egypt was a transcontinental country. It's connected to West Asia. It's connected to the Levant, the Near East and Middle East. This is why Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, have a close genetic relationship with the Middle East. You guys got to deal with science. I didn't make that up. It's nothing I say tonight that can be disproved, I proved it all. You're gonna have to make up a whole nother subject and a whole nother narrative to get around Chief X. Okay? Now, where were we at? <clears throat> okay, trade in Egypt. This is ck.org, an academic site. Trade in Egypt. Let's blow this up so everyone can see it. South of Egypt was a land known as Kush. Today we call it land of Nubia. Egypt and Kush began as trading partners. Today, the land of ancient, excuse me, the land of Nubia in southern Egypt and northern Sudan. Egypt had fertile soil around the Nile to grow cotton, wheat, barley, and other foods. However, they had to get other resources from different countries. As Egypt became bigger, they wanted to obtain. Oops. This is important. As Egypt became bigger, they wanted to obtain luxury goods. Let's make this bigger. So they, all, I keep telling people, all they really wanted from Nubians was luxury goods like gold and animal skins. As Egypt became bigger, they only wanted to obtain luxury goods such as gold, gemstones, animal skins, and perfumes. They eventually, these are not needed items. These are just luxury items. They eventually established a trade relationship with Kush. Kush had gold, which Egyptians needed for trade. For more wood. Egyptians had grain which need, Nubians needed to survive. So the Nubians needed grains from the Egyptians to survive. It was a necessity. Egyptians didn't need necessity items from, from Nubia. They just needed luxury goods. Right? Since Nubia depended on Egypt's grain and Egypt depended on Kush's gold. Well, let me get this out of the way. Okay, here we go. Since Nubia depended on Egyptians' grain and Egypt depended on Kush's gold, Nubia and Egypt had interdependence or dependency by each group on the other. This trade began a close relationship between Egypt and Nubia, right? So, um, I'm just verifying what I'm saying, right? Um, also, people have to understand that the Nubians didn't travel up and down the Nile well because of cataracts and rocks. Only the Egyptians were able to travel up and down the Nile River all up into the Mediterranean without any interference. Nubians had to get off on boats and walk through the desert to make it to certain trading posts. Right? The Nile, why? Because the Nile had many cataracts, which we call white rapids. This made it difficult for them to travel the Nile, so they often had to go on foot through the desert. Egyptians never had to go on foot. They traveled the Nile freely. Prove that, X. Okay. Egypt is quite unique when it comes to geographic isolation. Now to the north, the Mediterranean, you have the Sahara, the Sahara, and down you have the cataracts. You have the Sahara, the Sahara, and down you have the cataracts. He said cataracts. You have the Sahara, the Sahara, and down you have the cataracts. It made the river unnavigable. You cannot navigate. And that it made the river unnavigable. You cannot navigate. And that's a key for the protection of Egypt at a border city like Aswan. 
at the southern frontier. So them cataracts were natural borders protecting Egypt from its enemies down south, is what he's saying. Nubians weren't able to, Kushites weren't able to flow up and down the Nile River. I know they didn't teach you this, but I will. You need to protect Egypt, do you? Well, you have the cataract on the Nile, and the Nile was a super highway for the Egyptians. And if you have the, cat the cataract on the Nile, and the Nile was a super highway for the Egyptians, and if you have the cataracts, out crops of granite, they are going to stop navigation. That's perfect for the ancient Egyptian empire. Bam. We're clear on the cataracts, right? Now, um, So, so let's talk about Nile cataracts. Let's talk about the Nile and the cataracts of the Nile because as you study ancient Nubia and you start to study ancient Kemet and you want to get kind of dig deep into it, understanding the geological considerations and the geographical things that the people of ancient times had to deal with helps you understand a lot about the history. So that's why it's so important to, to study the Nile and the Nile cataracts because it was central to that area and central to the Nile Valley. And we think about a cataract, you know, wh what is a cataract? A cataract is really just a set, a, a set of rocks, you know, a set of, just that jet out of the Nile in this area. So there are rocky areas that jet right out of the Nile and they make it difficult to travel. They make it difficult for, you know, the traditional type of intercourse interaction that would have gone on up and down the Nile, they're difficult in areas where there are cataracts. And these cataracts can go on for miles. So it's not like they're just a few hundred feet. They can go on for miles. And there's several of them in this area that, the, that is the Nile Valley. So this Nile Valley cataracts, as I mentioned, they're just stone that's jetting up out of the Nile. The Nile Valley, this area has six of them. So if you look up here and you take a look, you know, right there where, where number one is the first cataract, that was traditionally the southern border of ancient Kemet. So when you think about Kemet in ancient times, its southern border was right there just above that, that, that first cataract of the Nile. And if you went up that, that, that first cataract and you went all the way to the Mediterranean Sea, you're not experiencing any real cataracts. You're able to kind of flow freely from all the way to the Mediterranean Sea, you're not experiencing any real cataracts. You're able to kind of flow freely from that area, which is now Ashwan, from that area just above the first cataract. You're able to kind of flow freely all the way up to the Mediterranean Sea. So you have un... Flow freely all the way up to the Mediterranean Sea in dealing with Mediterranean people and doing and being what I said at the beginning, the preeminent power in the Mediterranean world. Negroids were not part of the Mediterranean world. <laughs> Nubians were not able to flow freely up and now because of cataracts. Three people just explained that to you, and I showed and proved. Right? <coughs> Inhibited and unhampered travel, if you will, and, and, and transfers that can take place up and down the Nile. And unhampered travel, if you will, and, and, and transfers that can take place up and down the Nile. Then when you look at that and you go from the first cataract to the second cataract, that's pretty much where Lower Nubia was. When you define Lower Nubia in ancient times, you're pretty much talking about that first cataract area that's in Southern Kemet or just, just near Southern Kemet all the way down to the second cataract, which is just below the, the modern day border of Northern Sudan. So that area right there, much of that, that's lower Nubia. And then when you go and you look at, look at areas there, three, four, five, and six. Those are the other cataracts that are in this area, in the Nile Valley, if you will. Those cataracts are all in, area, in Upper Nubia. So that, that's Upper Nubia from the second cataract down to the sixth cataract, that's Upper Nubia. And so you would find that they would have a lot more on this area of rockiness and, and, and travel around the Nile and up and down the Nile in that area was much more difficult just because of the cataracts and other things that around the Nile and up and down the Nile in that area was much more difficult just because of the cataracts and other things that are there in terms of the geology and the geography of it. So that's what the Upper Nubians had to, had to deal with and look at. Pause. So it's a difference right, right. in tra Yes, sir. What's, What's her name? name? Who, who, who uh, this is, is, I think, Danita Smith. Oh, oh Danita, Danita Smith. She ain't, well, she this is a Donita Smith um, new, YouTube channel. She ain't um, passed away, right? right? Huh? She ain't passed pass away. Pass you said pass away? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Because that's, that's you, I just, I just, I just but, but, but that, that might be happy. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. So you can go to her page. It's called What Are Nile Cataracts, right? Yeah, and yeah. She's teaching, and in, in, in the description, there's plenty of information on her and what she's talking about. <clears throat> Right, so we're clear on the cataracts things. Now, let's get to this part. Sudan, and, I, and this is where you have to use your logic, people. And we, we don't have that long to go. We're almost done. Hold on. This is where you have to use your logic, people. 
Sudan is called, the etymology of Sudan is, let me find it for you. An Arabic word. Where is this? Hold on. Okay, here we go. Sudan is an Arabic word, right? Here's the etymology of Sudan. And Sudan means land of the blacks, as you see. Arabs called Sudan and most of what they considered south of the Sahara, basically sub-Saharan Africa, they called that land of the blacks. They didn't call Egyptians or Egypt land of the blacks. Why? Because it wasn't land of the blacks. <laughs> they were an Af Egyptians or an Afro-Asiatic speaking people just like the Arab world. Right? They skipped over calling Egypt anything related to black folk or Negroid folk because that, they weren't that. They called Sudan land of the blacks because it was full of blacks that I showed you all in Nubia, giving honor and paying tribute to King Tut. Right? So yeah, that's a logical thing you have to think about. Not only that, but even the Persians. Right? Persian word is what? Zanes. Right? And what does that mean? Zane in Arabic means the country of the blacks. They didn't call Egypt the country of the blacks because Egypt wasn't black people. They peop these people in ancient times know exactly who they're dealing with. So let's move on. The Greco-Roman world called it Ethiopia, which is a term for, as you see here, Ethiopia on this map is under North Africa, under Libya. It's speaking about sub-Saharan Africans. Right? The Greek historian Herodotus uses the appellation to refer to such parts of sub-Saharan Africa or then known within the inhabitable world. The etymology, the Greek Ethiopia, is a compound derivative of the Greek words, um, I burn, face, according to Persis, by the, let me just, um, it means burnt face. It means burnt face. They talking about black folk. The Greco-Roman world. <clears throat> it's talking about darker skinned populations at the Greeks since the time of Homer. They called it that, right? They're talking about what? Primarily what is, what, excuse me, primarily in what was then Nubia, ancient Sudan. They talking about black folk. They're talking about areas below the Sahara, sub-Saharan Africans. So in ancient times, the word Africa did not refer to sub-Saharan Africa. They, Africa referred to only North Africa. In ancient Libya, Libya was a name for North Africa, which they called the Maghreb. The Maghreb is from Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. That area east of Egypt is called the Maghreb in North Africa. But in the, they used to call it ancient Libya. But Ethiopia was a term for sub-Saharan Africa. So what we seen was the, the, the Arabs called Sudan land of the blacks. The Persians called it Zand, Zang, land of the blacks. The Greco-Roman world called sub-Saharan Africa, Ethiopia. Right? So let me go down here and show you this map. And we're going to move forward. Where is my map? Okay, here we go. 
Bam. So we got the Arabs, the Persians, the uh, 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 Greco-Roman world, and now the Europeans. This is an ancient cartographer's uh, map of what they called it Negro land. What does Negro mean? Black. And at the bottom, you see the Gold Coast, the Slave Coast, right? In Sub-Saharan Africa, to European cartographers, was considered Negro land. You see it. And above Negro land, you see what? The Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert, right? So everybody, everybody in ancient time, in an ancient world, whether you was the Arabs, the Persians, the, uh, the, the, the uh, 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 Greco-Roman world, the Europeans, they all called sub-Saharan Africa black folk, Negroes, Negro land, land of the blacks. Those are black folk south of the Sahara, not North Africa. I'm cooking. Keep that real. Okay. Now, people say Narmer came from the south. Straight bull crap. Narmer came from central Egypt and united lower Egypt or northern Egypt. Right? And after Narmer did that, guess what he did? He wasn't Nubian. You guys have been lying about that come from the south. That is drama. Here we go. Narmer did what? He led military expeditions through lower Egypt to put down rebellions and then expanded his territory into Canaan and Nubia. Soon as Narmer united upper and lower Egypt, he made a U-turn and started banging on Nubians. And they was always snatching up gold. They was always punking Nubia for their stuff. They was always messing with them Negroid people south of them. Not only in armor, but it seems like every two or three pharaohs, they come in here banging on Nubia. Amenhotep. What did he do? <clears throat> that he what? Led campaigns into Nubia. According to tomb of text Amos, the son of Ibana, Amenhotep later sought to expand Egypt's borders southward into Nubia, and he led an invasion which defeated the Nubian army. They weren't friends. The Nubians were their enemy. Black folk was their enemy. Negroes were their enemy and defeated the Nubian army. The tomb biography of Amos such as, such, says he also fought in a campaign against Cush. Not only Amenhotep was banging on Nubians. Let's go to the homie Mentu Hotep. Right? Mentu Hotep. What did he do? He launched military campaigns under the command of his advisor, Kishti, south into Nubia. They send in military. They send in military because they battling. They not friends. They taken. Taken slaves. Military campaign, right, south into Nubia, which had gained its independence during the first intermediate, intermediate period in its 29th, 31st, and 7th year. This is the first attested, excuse me, this is the first attested appearance of the term Kush for Nubian in Egyptian records. They all banging on, on, on them. Not only that, but Sinraset was banging on them. What did he do? Sinraset cleared a navigable canal through the first cataract. Because remember, cataracts were hard to sail through. And rocks. You couldn't go through cataracts. So what happened? Sinra said cleared a navigable canal through the first cataract of the Nile River. This was different from the canal of the pharaohs, which apparently Sinru set three also tried to build. He also relentlessly pushed his kingdom expansion into Nubia. 
where he erected ma massive river forts, right? He carried out at least four major campaigns into Nubia in his years 8, 10, 16, and 19. His year 8, Stella, at the semi-documents, his victories against the Nubians, through which he is thought to have made safe southern frontier, preventing further incursions into Egypt. They was preventing these people from coming all into Egypt. Another great Stella from Semena dated to the third month, year 16 of his reign, mentions his military activities against both who? Nubia and Canaan. They weren't buddy buddies. They were different people. Okay? Not only that, Let's go here. Hold on. So we talk about King Tut. This is King Tut. Not only all them pharaohs, King Tut, who they was given honor to. This Caucasian. He's different than them guys at the bottom. He's trampling over. He's not a Negroid. They just use red ochre, red ochre paint and they're melanated, he has a straight nose. And they're melanated, and they just use red okra because they didn't have a lot of colors. He riding on his enemies. What is y'all talking about? Everyone was riding on Nubians to get that gold and to take it up to the Mediterranean world and floss and have gold datings on chariots and make money all in the Mediterranean world. I mean, what are y'all talking about? Real quick. Why they didn't show you this picture of King Tut? He's not Negroid. Why they didn't show you that picture? Why they didn't show you this picture of King Tut? He's not Negroid. He's MTDNAK, which is West Asia. It's nothing you can do with this information. These are facts. Why they didn't show you this picture of King Tut? Why they keep cherry picking pictures for y'all? Why they didn't show you this picture of King Tut? Egyptians was not black folk. Okay. <laughs> now. Here we go. Tutankhamen Common right here. What is he doing? Trampling on his enemies. Who's he trampling on? Who's he trampling on? Black folk. People of the southern lands. Huh? Let's stop playing. Captured Nubians. This is who he's rolling on. Hold on. We're almost done. I just got to show. So why they didn't show you them pictures of King Tut? Hold on real quick, y'all. These are them Nubian captives. They've been snatching gold. This is how they depicted them. Egyptians aren't depicted like this.
They've been, they've been doing slavery in Egypt. I don't know why people are acting like that's not real. This is a captured new bin. This is that same people. Let me just show you a few pictures and um, we're going to move on. These same people, bound Nubians with chains on their neck. Them same people, black folk. Egyptians are not depicted like this. Egypt depicted who is who. The only black folk in the north, in the Asiatics, Libyans, the only black folk is the Nubians, southerners. Nobody else is black. They're my Caucasoid people, y'all. We are a people of the tropics. South of the, of the Sahara. Southerners. Y'all got to cut this out and leave these people history alone. So they used to do what we call caricature. See this picture on the top left? That's caricature. Not that they actually look like that, but you know how they did the cartoons in America and show blacks with the big lips and wide eyes and back in the day, this is what they did in them times. Talking about black folk. This is caricature. They were clowning when they, when they, when they did these drawings. Caucasian people was clowning Negroid people. This is this is black folk, but we're, but just don't 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 get all sentimental in uh, uh, in in your feelings. These people aren't us. We Western Central Africa. We ain't got nothing to do with no Nubians. They were always bound and getting rolled on. There's a difference, people. To the left, black folk. To the right, Caucasians. It's a difference. It's a difference. One would be considered black folk Negroid. The other wouldn't be. They've been lying to y'all. Hold on, we're almost done. Even on this ancient map here, what do you see under North Africa, south of the Sahara? It says Sudan Negr. Might be a word for Negro. Sudan, I showed you, means black land. Negro means black. Nothing in the north was ever called Negro, black, Sudan, Zang, none of those terms relating to black folk. The northern people are Afro-Asiatic speaking people. They have affinities close to each other. 
They're people of the Mediterranean world. Black folk ain't Mediterranean people. I'm sorry, y'all. You've been bamboozled. The Hotep hustle has miseducated you. Even the Jebelian money they found all down close to, look at his hair. Primary evidence, this Caucasian hair. Let's go. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So I'm distinguishing, showing you a difference between the people who was superior and who was inferior according to the ancient records. Now, a lot of times people, this is a, a great site for people to check out, the Atlas of Humanity, right? Um, trust me. This will tell you, show you who it looks like what and who looks like, look right here. For example, <clears throat> people for a long time get to showing you these pictures and acting like these are the ancient Egyptians. This is what they look like. These are people in Ethiopia called the Hammer Tribe. They're in East Africa. These are not Egyptian people. These Ethiopian Hammer Tribe people have nothing, absolutely zero to do with Egypt, zero to do with the Mediterranean world. They had nothing at all to do with Egypt or the Mediterranean world. They never did trade and business in the Mediterranean world. None of that. Don't let people fool you with these pictures. And they be, oh, let us see the Egyptian. They'll show you something, and they'll show you something on the Egyptian wall that may look similar. They've been tricking you. These are Negroes of Sub-Saharan Africa. They got nothing to do with North Africa. None of these types, none of these people, none of my people were ever, ever, ever in, in North Africa, indigenous to North Africa, unless you was up there from a slave trade. That's how you got there. Now, and they'll also do this with the Afar people. Afar people. Ethiopia, Eritrea. This has nothing to do with Egypt. These are Afar people. And people always show you these people with the braids and try to equate them to Egypt. They're mind gaming you. These people are way, way down south, even below Sudan. These people are in Ethiopia, Eritrea. And they're mixed. These people are not even related to us African Americans, us black Americans, us West Central African descendants. You guys have zero to do with Egypt. Your ancestors had zero to do with Egypt. Stop using these people and trying to play like they the Egyptians. They're not. South of the Sahara, south of Egypt is where black folk is from, not north. I don't even call these black folk, but y'all can call them black folk. But these are admixed people. These people speak Afro-Asiatic language all in the horn of Africa. All in the horn of Africa. My hair ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> right? So I just wanted to show you the Afar and the Hammer tribe. You reach your Ethiopia area and show you that these people have nothing to do with Egypt. 
because people use these pictures. Go check out the Atlas of Humanity. It's a great site, right? Um, great site. And you can click on any people and see what the culture and the people look like. From Asia, Americas, Europe. I mean, you can see what the world looked like. Outside of Sub-Saharan Africa, black folk may be about 5% of the population. We ain't, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Okay, what else I want to touch on before I end? <sighs> this is what also people need to know. Because black Americans are confused about their own identity. Definitely they're confused about other people's identity. North Africans, Egyptians are not Arab people. They speak Arabic and embrace Islam today. But Egypt, Egyptians are only 17% Arab. Stop calling them Arab. They're Egyptian. You just don't know the difference. It's like another Mediterranean people, Italian. So I did a survey one time and I put some Italian women in a hijab, some Muslim Italian women. And I told everybody to guess who they are. People said, oh, they Tunisian women, they Moroccan women, they uh, Libyan women, they Egyptian women, they Arab women. Nope. I said, they are Italian women. And everyone was wrong. Italians and Mediterranean. So people in the Mediterranean, which is a region, look similar sometimes. Just like people in West and Central Africa look similar because they're in the same region. So stop calling Egyptians, people in Egypt, Arab. They're not Arabs. You would think she's Arab, but you don't know your own identity. You'd be confused. You don't know. Berbers are not Arabs. Egyptians aren't Berbers or Arabs. They're Egyptians. Or some say North Africans, but they, they like to call themselves Egyptians. So regardless of them having an Egyptian religion, excuse me, Arab religion, Islam, Islam came with the sword of Islam and made every goddamn thing Islam. Right? You need to know that. Now... That should be all. Um, and just make sure I go through my tab and see I touched on everything. Let me just do this one more thing. Like, I don't do the picture game. But we can. So people be showing you pictures and trying to equate everybody together. This is this and this and that. But I didn't do any picture games today. Because that's not scholarship. We call it lookership. But we can do picture games all the dang time. And do this comparison thing. We can do this all day long. And out. Will outpicture you. We're about to end it, Sai. Hold on. I will outpicture you all day long. I can do this for hours. So, Egyptian women are always painted white or yellow. Nubian women are never painted white or yellow like this. Nubian women are always black or dark brown. And it's a reason behind this, but y'all can do that research your own because they're supposed to be working inside so they weren't as tanned. The men were painted in red okra. The women were painted yellow or white. Why, the, why, no, why no Nubian women are painted yellow or white? Because they weren't of that hue. Egyptian women are of this hue. That's why they're painted that color. You can't even find a, 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 a casket, a coffin, with a black person on it. We can do the picture game all day, but I just wanted to show y'all some scholarship. But we can do this all day. This is the fourth dynasty. 
You don't have to cherry pick pictures. You don't have to keep showing them same 10 pictures that people make people think that they black. They cherry pick pictures for decades on y'all. But they don't show you these pictures all the time. Huh? Nubian women are never pictured like this. Egyptians was not black folk. It's not one thing I said today that is wrong. I prove every point I made. I was lied to. I was misinformed. I used to be an Egyptomaniac. I am no longer that. I woke up. I let go of my foolish pride. I said, I'm going to represent my own people in Western Central Africa. I'm no longer trying to steal nobody's history, claim some other people's history, claim another people's culture. We used to say we're the Moors. We're not the Moors. The Moors are Berbers and Arabs who conquered Spain, the Iberian Peninsula. Black folk ain't had nothing to do with no Spain. Black folk ain't had nothing to do with no Spain in conquering the Iberian Peninsula. Those were Arab dynasties who did that. So whoever's been teaching the Moors of black have been lying to you. I'm calling out Reggie, Smash Rockwell, Jabari, uh, Shaka uh, Amos. No. Answer to me. Come out the closet and deal with me. I've offered everybody two and three hundred dollars to debate me on this topic. None of them took it. They all ran, Sonetta. I'm calling, I'm calling you. you. I'm so sick of these things. Hit it, hit it. Oh! Hit it, hit it. Oh! oh. So I'm just letting you know I don't do the picture game, but I just want to show you. We can play picture games if you like. I will outpicture you. I can go for hours. Nubian women are never painted like this. So let me, so let me get to um, um, Are you, are you saying, saying that, that these, these pictures, pictures that you, that you saw are, are the, the people of Egypt? 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. And what scholarship says, what science says, what my buddies Ngozi and Shefron, who's about to come on, says, the modern day Egyptians that are there today are the ancient Egyptians. They never went nowhere, Sa. Let me come back on screen. I can, cause I can go all day showing them pictures, but <laughs> let me come back to StreamYard and um, get up off that. Right? Can you hear me, Sa? Yes, 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 I hear you. Let me stop sharing my screen. You got an echo. All right, now your echo is gone. Now your echo is gone. Are you saying that the people that are there now, Chief X, are the original Egyptians, are the ones who built the pyramids and the, the temples of Luxor and all this great stuff? The pyramid of Giza is by Cairo in the Delta which is basically the Mediterranean. Mm, mm, the Sphinx mm. is up there close by the Mediterranean Sea. And and Goldie is co-signing that? And Shefren? Fam, Mediterranean people built that. We didn't have nothing to do with no... Black folk ain't had nothing to do with no pyramid building. Ooh, oh, wow. N none of that stuff. None of them temples. We were from the south. Hey, I'm we didn't do something. business in the Mediterranean world. You 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 starting to get people that's calling you out, whatever. It's talking about yo, man. You calling out the mold, man. You dealing with something you know nothing about. He's saying. You so, say, he, he paid five dollars for this question to get asked. Uh, me and Lord Albert, me and Lord, Lord Albert had a debate actually, back in the blog. He talking. debate me on if the Moors took over Spain were weren't black. Uh oh. At any time. Oh. Uh. 
That Dang. would be suicide for you, Lord Abba. <laughs> but check this out, Saul. Go ahead. African Americans and Afrocentrics have been lying to mm. the ancient Egyptians and being disrespectful. The ancient Egyptians, in no writing, ever said they disappeared, migrated away from Egypt, and just went and went, and went somewhere else. They never wrote that. They uh, never left. Look, look, you done woke up a lion, bro. You done woke up the king. They have never disappeared. The modern day Egyptians are the ancient Egyptians and they're here to this day. DNA says the modern day Egyptians that are there right now have about 68% of the genetic composition of the ancient Egyptians. This is what science says. Take it up with science. This is exactly now. I didn't show no first this century exactly sources. Elder Yara wasn't like paying attention. Question. But this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Check this out, Sonetta. This is even a shot at every single Hebrew Israelite. Captain Tazariak, all of them. There were never no black folk anywhere near Canaan or Israel. No black people indigenous to anywhere in any of them lands. And wow. the claim I've made there's never been one Negroid black tribe indigenous to North Africa, Europe, Levant, the Near East, or the Caucasus. Those are not our lands. We're tropic people. Let me say this to you. So though. no Hebrew Israelite can ever tell you a Negro or black tribe that was anywhere near Canaan, Egypt, and anywhere north. They're all wrong. Everybody's wrong. Let me say this to you, um, Chief. Man, you're going to have everybody coming at you. you going at the goddamn. You see, one of the best is in the building, um, Elder Yara. And you're going at the best, man. You're going at the captain, Elder Yara, Brother Jabari. Um, and then Lord Abba, he wants some blood. <laughs> so I Yo, came here to debunk right the, I came here to turn the conscious community upside down on his head, head and debunk the entire conscious community. Anybody talking about non-black Egypt got it from me. They're using my talking points. They're using my style. They got it from Chief X. Let it be known. Well, well, you know, I am witness of um, you're the first one that did bring it out that Egypt wasn't black. You're the first one and everybody else started copying off you on that. I remember you and Jabari going at it about a good two years ago, three years ago, you and Jabari. So, yeah, I, I give you that. You were the first one saying that. But I don't know if Ngozi and Chiefrin is going to co-sign this, man. I'm waiting on them brothers to hit the link. Chefron, hit that link. I gave I Chefron the link. Up, brother. I think they set you up to go in there and look crazy. Now, somebody, somebody in the comments can say Chief X is full of BS. Am I guarantee you, y'all. I guarantee you, every single point I made is a fact, and no one can disprove it. So people can get on this personality. Hey, Chief, B. what about the information? Don't say I'm bull crap. I'm wrong. Sh prove to me that I'm wrong on anything I presented. And that's what I want y'all to come with: the information, not ad hominems, not no, not no um slander, none of that come with the information because i'm gonna tell you something if you come with slander if you come with jokes then i'm gonna say chief x beat you because that's all you got to come with is jokes and clown and buffoonery you got to show your information he came in he showed the sources i mean queen talk wow hey chief x man damn i was cooking boy <laughs> i was cooking you showed the hair and all that so I don't know, man. You probably got Reggie in them boiling right now. Hey, hey is, Sa, was it powerful? Was it powerful? Sa? Yeah, that was powerful. Brother Jabari probably red right now. Red as hell. Jabari is in the chat. <laughs> I want them all. all right, hey, Chef Ron, hit the, get, hey, throw the link in there, Sa, let, um, um I'm going to throw the link in there right now. So, uh, brother, so, 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 what's up, so man? What's, what's going on, son? Why you ain't hit the link? Come in oh, and ask on, Hold on, Sa. Hold on, Sa. Before anybody hit the link, you got to put the link in there so so um uh, Ngozi and Chef. Okay, can I come got on. the link in the chat. The link. Let Ngozi and Chef come on because they got something to say. Yes, the link. And is then you in can the invite chat. other people. Hit that link, link, Chef, and um, the Ngozi. link is in the chat. Uh, real quick, uh, what you want to say, um, my brother, before they come on? Um, 
Listen, uh, listen, Chief X, I, I understand your angst and want to be different with your scholarship. I understand that. Um, and I get this a lot of times through the same criticism you get because I'm from the Hebrew Israelite paradigm. So I, I, I get what you're going through. But at the end of the day, what's a lie is what's a lie and what's the truth is the truth. If you say that there were, you come from a tropical, your tropical people, what's the what, what's the what is the what is the where is the tropic of cancer run through? What is the line runs through? What's the tropical line? Where's the dividing line? Tropical of cancer. Hold on, because I had it on the map here. Hold on. All right, we got a mirror in the building. We got Encozy in the building. What's up? What's up, Sal? Peace and love. Peace. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm going to have to get back to you, Elder Yara, because this is their show. Yeah, do that. And, and just yeah, stay I'm tuned in. I'm going to open up the line. Yeah, I'm going to come right. and check out the line. All right. So I want everybody to know we got the man up in the building. We got um Ngozi in the building. And this will be a dynamic blow. Chief X got the killers on deck. What's yeah. going on, Ngozi? Peace. Chief X did an excellent job. He's 100% correct when he talk about the people of Egypt. They were neither black, they were neither white, they are not Arab, they are Egyptians. And if you follow um, the genetic, um, if you follow the genetic signatures that they have, it's, it's, it's consistent. The DNA composition that they have is consistent with the ancient populations. Um, even though it's limited for the available data for the overall region, but based off Abusir, based off um, what's getting ready to be promoted in 2025, they were supposed to do it in 2023, it all it, it it all falls in line with the same thing. Um, that mtDNAK has went into Egypt eight thousand years ago before dynastic Egypt because it's connected to the pre-prior Neolithic culture. And if you look up the pre-prior Neolithic culture, you can see the mtDNAK there. It's an offshoot of mtDNA U um, U eight B, which gave rise to K. It's West Asian. So King Tut paternal line was also R one B. So they were not what we think they were. They were neither white, they were neither black, and they are not Arabs. They are Egyptians. The Egyptians are Egyptians, which is North Africans. That's what they are. All right. So let me ask you, Ngozi, um, do you subscribe to the teachers that he just said as far as the people that are over there now, the Arabs that are over there in Kemet, in Egypt, are, the, in, um, are they the, the people who built the pyramids, brother? Are you saying that as well? Do you call they, 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 they are the descendants of the people that built the pyramids? Yes, Ooh, they are. God damn it, Ghost. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, this, this, this is heavy. heavy. This is heavy. heavy. It's like, it's like <laughs> y'all trying to, not you, but I'm just saying, not, not um, intentionally, but our people may see this as you trying to take away black history. And if you take away that, then what? Then what we have? We have Mali. We have Nigeria. We have Ghana. We have Sierra Leone. We got Wagadu. We got a whole lot of stuff that we promoted and what I mean that we did. We got Zimbabwe. We got if you want to deal with Nubia, even though we're not connected to the people in Nubia, but the people of Sudan, those are classified as black people. If you want to deal with that, but overall, our direct ancestors from Western Central Africa, we got mm -hmm. a whole lot of stuff over there where we come from. Uh, Empire Oyo, the Empire Ghana. Empire Wagadu, we got Mali, Timbuktu, you know, we got Igbo Empire. We got a lot of empires in West Africa that's been abandoned and neglected that we don't even talk about. You know what I'm saying? And we got empires in Cameroon, um, the Bimelike and different groups of people. So I think it, I think it's really, really important to embrace our direct ancestors from Western Central Africa. Those people that we come from didn't speak Meduneta. They didn't care about Meduneta because that wasn't part of our identity. We were Western Central Africans. Now, if you want to deal with it, religiously because we live in a new time and as i said to jabari before we live in a time where a man can be a woman and a woman can be a man so if you want to deal with what you want to do in america you know it's, it's it's free range but our direct ancestors we got our own beautiful history and our own beautiful civilizations that we created so we wouldn't need egypt to be great even though egypt is part of classical african civilization we can't deny that okay real quick brother jabari um I don't know if I want to let you in. This is their show because y'all show is at eight o'clock, brother. Let let me let, if I can you say this. You want to say something and be out? 
Yeah, if I can okay, say this very quickly. Because I want you I'm, to save your stuff for 8 o'clock. Well, 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 let me say this. I'm not yeah. even sure if I can be on at 8 o'clock. I'm still trying. Yeah, you um, can do it, brother. Make it, but man. What I, but what I really want to do, because I've listened to Chief X's entire presentation, um, and I really, and, you know, I like Chief X as a person. I just have to tell him, Chief X, the presentation is is not strong. He spends not 85% of his time showing that the ancient Kemetic people and the Nubian people had enmity, that they had some sort of military disagreement. And of course, that would mean that I guess George Washington and the King of England are different racial groups because they fought the Revolutionary War. That it's a lot, it, it lacks logical coherence. What I'd like to do is I'd like to actually go through his presentation. I have lots of notes point by point and show you the errors he's made. I think but, that- But Jabari, I'm going to have to let you do that on eight because I got them two going in right but now. But I'm saying, listen, I'm not saying we should do it now. Okay. I'm saying later in the week, I'm going to put up a full presentation uh -oh. for Chief X. I appreciate Chief that. Chief X will let acknowledge me, that he and I- Let me say something, Jabari, real quick, unless you continue. Go ahead. Go Can ahead. you guys in the chat- Please reprimand Haskell, who continuously and religiously is insulting me. And hey, family, come on, on moderators, me. get on the job, y'all. Don't get let get on that your go job down. and keep the chat respectful. Yeah, keep the chat respectful. And I don't know what Haskell's talking about making up lies on me. Yeah, let's do not something do that. about that. Now, now yeah, listen, this, okay. I, I, I just need to reiterate that. I, listen, I like Chief X as a person. I think he's wrong. I think that we can do lots of things respectfully. He's my brother. He's just. Incorrect. That's all. And Jabari, I think that how do you should feel? Enjoy. How do you feel, Jabari? About um, we got Amir, we got um, Angozi, and she facts are saying that the people in Kemet right now in Egypt are the true descendants, are the ones who built the pyramids, who built the well, step pyramid, well, even as far as the step pyramid, brother. Let me let me let me say to you that. Yeah. Um, the Chief X's presentation is largely <laughs> is largely time frame free. And that's part of the challenge that we have. I mean, for example, his discussion of the Sudan and, and the Arabic word, the Sudan, he never tells us what period that's from. The, that's the key here. And I think that what we need to do is go through everything he said, go through comedic history, which is over 3000 years, for him to even show someone in the new kingdom and then associate them with Namur in the old kingdom, he, you got to do some work there. You can't just slap that together that way. So there's going to be a lot of of um uh, of a challenge that he's going to have. And by the way, Chief X, I'm going to show you me crossing the first cataract. Mm. I'm going to show mm. you that I have cra crossed the first cataract. Woo! So I think that what you have to do is understand the cataract does make navigating the Hopi challenging. But if that is the argument you're making, um, Nubia regularly um, exists between the first cataract and the fourth cataract, sometimes to the sixth cataract. So then are you saying that those aren't the same people? Because they can't move between the cataracts, right? Th there's some <clears throat> logical problems that he has in his argument. And I'm so, going to show them to you in a the, in a the, really. Yeah, hey, the Jamal, reason why I, make, the reason why I made that re, before in go, but the reason why I made that point is because Black Americans didn't understand the cataract situation. So I was just Ooh. explaining in general that cataracts are very hard to navigate through, and that a lot of times they couldn't just ride no boats up and down the Nile and sail freely. That's just the a, term you that's use. A known fact. The, war, the term you use, Chief X, and I made a, I quoted you here. You said the cataracts are impassable, impassable. That's what you said. Okay, well, and let's so, take the word so impossible I'm, back. I'm saying it makes it very, 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 very hard to navigate through. But and very the scholars hard, had told you that. I, I'm saying to you, I, first of all, I don't even know who that. But was I did put were, up a link that showing that Senral set who it was. Then Usret. Sun Uswet, how you pronounce it? Okay. Sun he did make a way through the first cataract and was able to navigate through some kind of building or destruction. I'm not sure how, what happened. I, I'm not into that. Yes, sir. Chief I'm going to give you some homework. Okay. I'm, how I'll be far waiting. down did Sun Uswet go? I'm not did sure. Did he just get past the first cataract? I'm not sure exactly. 
I know I'll you're wait, not sure. No, That's no, why I'll, you made the comment you no, did. I'll wait for, I'm just saying that he made <laughs> it through a first that's cataract. What, that's but, all I'm saying. But, but my point is that's the, listen, you need to, you need some more work on this. And um, respect. What I said it was a fact still. What was a fact? I, I'm about the cataracts. No, you said, I'm telling you what you said. You said the cataracts were unpassable. That's what no, you said. I, I showed you two scholars saying that, that they were. Is that what they and said? I played or did their they words. Say that it made They're sense? saying it made it. Wait, 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 wait. I or did they it. say? Did they say that it made the that it made traveling the Nile difficult? Yes, it made it very difficult. That's what I'm saying. It made it here's very, another very difficult to travel freely up and down Here, the Nile here's another because question of cataracts. From, here's yeah. another question for you, Chief X. When you're sitting at the first cataract, can you see the the West Bank and the East Bank of the river while just turning your head? I'm not sure. I've never been to Egypt. I. That's why I'm saying you're it, in a, you're No, not, it does not. No, no. I'm, I'm making a it. certain point. It, I don't have to have been to Egypt to know, to not, to know that Egyptian is not black. Now, if you've been to Egypt as many times as you've had, let me just say this. Then you would know when you're in Egypt walking around, you barely see people who look like you. But Egypt I also is, know Egypt, let me just say this: you're correct. Egypt, Egypt, you're right. correct so with that. Egypt is three percent ethnic groups there. But can I say the this rest to you? of like can if you're walking through you? Egypt, you might see uh, a five hundred, you might see five hundred Egyptians, and then you may see a black. Person. However, however, you guys are not. However, you guys are not. You guys brother, are not. Listen, let me just finish my sentence. You guys are black folk is not a heavy presence in but, Egypt. But is hear, my point. hear what I'm hear and what you I'm know saying. That, to you. And everyone who but, went there, hold okay, on, let me just finish okay. my sentence. Let me finish You're my saying sentence. the same thing. No, though. I'm not. You keep interrupting. I want the audience to hear me. Go ahead. Listen, listen. Say, say the same thing again. Egypt, we don't have a black folk do not have a heavy presence in Egypt. And this is the reality. And everyone who went to Egypt knows this. But they come back Chief. to America fronting and faking like Chief it's some presence there. We are Chief barely X. there. And okay. then people who are there have always been there. Chief X, I, listen, I've lived in the United States all my life. And I've almost near, never seen a Native American. That's all I got to say to you. <laughs> but we know what so happened I to the Native assume, American. We have an answer for all that. I assume that Donald Trump and his cronies have been here forever. No, we know exactly the history of America and how it happened. We also know the history of how we those know about people some, got here. Yeah, no, you, no, no Egyptian, no Egyptian okay. ever wrote Mexican, and told you that they disappeared. Jibari, you guys are lying on okay. Egyptians. Okay, okay, you okay. You say Mexicans, Jabari. You say okay. Mexicans. You okay. say Mexicans. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Let's do. By the way, you see Mexicans, Mexicans, yeah. Mexicans. Yeah, they're highly, Mexican. they're highly Native American. And you looked at their genetics, you but they're genetics? not in the brother. Mexico what I'm saying North to America. you is, listen, what I'm saying to you is, is that populations don't always remain the same phenotype. This is not a hot, that's, a, that's not a heavy lift. And if you look at ancient Kemet and you see the Persians, the Assyrians, the Greeks, the Romans, the French, the, the British, even the Mamluks before then, if you see all of these groups come into Kemet, you should understand how the phenotype changes. This is a really simple argument. And so what I'm going to do, and I want to give you the respect of doing this, Chief X. By the way, I want you to acknowledge that when you first came out with this, I offered to debate you. Uh, that offer is still here. Right. And you said you have to read. You that told me that. Offer you, is right. Still what you told here. me is I was willing to, and you said I have to first read your book. So you gave me a, a, a task. I got to read some book and then you'll debate me. Well, well, I have a full chapter on this topic. That's why I'm saying if, if I was helping you because the easiest thing I've seen your whole presentation. Now I can unravel it. You could read my book and then unravel that. I was do you, helping you. Do you if recall, do, do you recall book, anybody else stepping up? Stepping up for what? To debate me. Do you recall anybody else stepping up? I, I don't know that. I don't okay. know that. I don't yeah. know that. Yeah, I offered them all money and they'd all turn but, it down. But the reality is that I'm going to do, I'm going to respect you because you are a person I respect. I'm going to respect you with a full response. That's what I'm going to do. And um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have some fun doing it. I'm this. glad to have drawn you out. I'm going to have some fun. I'm gonna have, <laughs> no, I've been, no, I've I'm been saying be this for three years. You, you and I are Facebook friends. When you first said this, I said I would debate you. When you first said it. So definitely this is something that we should discuss. And I'm also, let me just leave with this on Netter. We are tropical Africans. Is the Sahara the only desert in, on the continent? So no. you admit we're tropical Africans, right? No, I'm asking you. 
Okay, so, but you remember you say we are Africans, tropical right? Africans, right? But is the Sahara the only desert on the continent? And do black people live there? No, there's other deserts. Okay, so how can we just be tropical Africans then? Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, my DNA is really is, is listen. I haven't said anything yet. My DNA is like twenty six percent Nigerian, twenty five percent Ghanaian. I have uh, ten percent Central Africa and the Congo. The Congo is a rainforest, fam. It's Keep tropical. going. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, the Congo is tropical, fam. Keep going. Nigeria is tropical. I was in Ni- I was in Ghana. Keep I was going. in the, I, I was in the forest in Ghana. I want you I got to videos keep... of myself. We're okay. a forest. I'm a forest people. I come from a forest. But I, but I, what I want you to say is the the phenotype of Africa is diverse. You have to also recognize that the um, that the the, the um, topographical reality and the climatic reality of Africa is relatively diverse as, as well. So to say that we are tropical people um, is a is a difficult thing for you to say. Hey. Um, and so, especially hey, because what, what, you're what arguing that the Sudanese are are us, but they don't live in the tropics. Hey, what what he's saying is is that the population that we descend from, from the rainforests in Central and Western Africa, is who we are. Those people are tropical adapted. And now, but, if you're talking but, about now, if you're talking about the Africans in the Kalahari Desert in South Africa, we don't come from them. If you, let me, uh, you know, when you make those large, or the people that, when, when you make those large from, sweeping comments, I'm sure that you can yeah, have yeah, lots of people on this yeah, channel. Yeah. Wait, listen, I'm the, you're going to be able to share, have large people on this channel share their DNA. You're going to see that we don't just come from those areas. No, That's no, no. We do, mo, most No, listen, brother. Most Africans are the diaspora, whether you're from the Caribbean, which means cannibal or populations in North America. We are mainly Western Central Africans. That's what we are. Now we you said mainly. I thought you said we were only. We, no, no, not a fact. No, 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 no. Do you notice no, how no, the no, goal let me, let me, let me say, just let me say, no, let me, no, no, let me say it better. We're all Western Central. We're, we're not East Africans. Okay. We're not Northern Sudanese. We are so, all Western Central Africans. So you can have, I? So, you don't so have let me just do this. Wait a minute. Let him finish, though. You don't have Habasha blood in you. You don't have Somali blood in you. You don't have Northern Sudanese blood in you. Brother Jabari, can I ask you a question before you go? But hold on. Amir is saying something. Can we be quiet so Amir can finish his statement. Let him in finish, Jabari. Yeah. So Let him finish. All, all, all I'm saying, Jabari, is, is that we don't have Khoisan, none of those groups in us. We are mainly West, we are overall Western Central Africans. The only component that we have in us is Northwestern European, probably some British and some Irish and sprinkles of Native Americans. Sprinkles. So, sprinkles. so, sprinkles. So, let me ask you this, Amir. Let me ask you this. When people on this channel show you their DNA and show that we have DNA from other areas of Africa, will you yield? Because you just said that we don't. If, if they will can you do yield? It, but they won't. If they could, no, wait a minute. Just say yes, I'll yield, and then we'll we'll, if, we'll if finish. They, if they could, yes, yeah, yes, but they okay, won't. okay. I, so I'm sure you can find a few fringe, uh, a few fringe people, but he's so, talking so about. We're continued. talking about in general, in general. So listen, to be continued. That's all. Be because continued. I think that that claim that you made. Listen, mm-hmm. you know what I say about extraordinary claims, right? So definitely, um, that claim is is a hill that you're looking to die on. That's Jabari. Yeah, Jabari, that. Jabari, would you would you have would you That's have a debate with, would you have a debate with Amir on the genetics of North Africa? I would love, I would love, I would love to have a debate with you on that. That was my that's I, my whole thing. I, I don't. I it, it depends. Listen, the param- Listen, you should know that he and I tried to have a debate. He couldn't. I couldn't even pin him down to what black is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Jabari, Jabari, so, you making that up? So listen, I, I, hey, Jabari, so listen. I actually came on twice and asked so, out of, I asked out of getting in contact with you a few times. Oh, so sure. We it. No, but you and I had a conversation. What you mean? You I couldn't pin down what black is? No, and no, I was no, looking. No, no, what do you mean? What do you mean? And I, I was look, wait, black wait. Is? You asked me to stop. Let me. No, 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 no. But what do you now mean? Now you should pin wait for a minute. What, what, I'm asking you a question. You what asked do you, what me do you to mean? stop. So what do you I mean? was talking. What do you, you are mean? now interrupting. Well, I, I'm asking you, what do you mean? You're I can't now interrupting. Hold on. Get clear that I should interrupt Hold you. Hold on, and He's trying to answer you. Let him answer you. Just as you said, I shouldn't interrupt you. Now, why don't you pay me the same favor? All I'm saying to you is this. When you have a debate, you have to have clear parameters that you're debating or else there's no central point in it and it goes all over the place. So I have no problem debating you, but I would want to hear very clearly what the topic we were going to be debating was. Because one of the things that you continued to say is that the, um, the ancient Kemetic people, um, we, they didn't use the term black for themselves at that time. Correct. And so, and and I mean, if that's the debate we're having, it's not a it's not a useful debate. Well, so well, you well, and I will will have a, a conversation. I, I have no problem having a conversation with you. Well, well, Jabari, the only conversation I'm trying to have is is the modern populations there now, 
the descendants in the ancient populations. Okay. That that that's pretty much what I'm trying to. We'll do. we'll we'll have and that conversation. Nice conversation. I'm okay. prepared to have that conversation with you if you'd like. All right, hey, brother Jabari. Um, yeah. even if you can't make it and stay on at eight, just come through. I'll let you go first, so you can get ahead about your business. I, but I, see, I, what, the one thing I and I might be able to do that. I'm going to try. Okay. But what I don't want because this do is important is I, tonight, brother. This one is important. Yeah, but, but brother, what I'd rather do is is dismantle everything that i just heard yeah but we're gonna do that we're gonna do that yeah. on your own show let me get okay. sister dulcinea before you get up out of here she wanted to ask you a question go ahead sister dulcinea yes, how are you doing? brother jabari how are you doing i want to ask you? you i'm doing good because there's some egyptians that are there that are your skin complexion and sometimes even darker so is it fair to them for you guys to say that they are the invaders and that they are not the people that were there anciently when everybody's telling them their own history and they're being told, you know, passed down from their families of who they are and that they are the ancient well, people. Well, Especially when people can show you archaeology that shows there's there were people your skin tone there. How do we know exactly that those people aren't the ancient people? One, one of that's a good question. One of the things that people do when they're trying to win a debate is they describe your argument in the most simplistic form, overly simplistic. And when they do that, they're able to defeat you because they have extended your argument to the absurd, right? Reductio ad absurdum is what that's called. I don't think that we should argue that everyone that is, in pre that is present in modern Egypt is an invader. Much of what likely occurred is that large waves of people from outside came in. It's not like everyone that lived in ancient Kemet left at the same time. They just got a big plane and they went someplace else. There's also intermarriage that occurred so that their phenotype would change. Just as you look at my phenotype, if you go back several generations to my ancestors that actually were taken from the African continent, I would likely look a little different than they would. And that's because I have now other admixtures in my genes. So that is part of what has occurred, that large groups of people from other places come into Kemet and change the phenotype. Now, that also means some people did leave. Some people did leave, but not everyone. Um, and as those generations pass, we're talking about uh, literally at the, it, at the most conservative date, 1,500 years. 1500 years, as those generations pass, the phenotype looks different. It's that simple. It's that simple. And, and I want you to also know, as someone who travels in Kemet very regularly, many of those people that we consider the Arabic people, they don't say this to us, African Americans, but they do say to the Nubians there that they are the original people. Which is they a say lot. that to them all the time. Let, let, they let just, just won't allow. The rest no, of us to hear those comments. Let me just say this and one so, statement real quick. So, no. so I want you to I want you to hear that as Hold well. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna be real quick. Gotta come down. I got you. Uh, real quick though, people think that the Native Americans and, 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 and African slaves in America admixed a lot, which is is not true. In the oh, Cher God. in the Cherokee in the Cherokees Indians bylaws, they have it that you're not to have sex and mix with the slave, or you can be banished from the tribe. Right. That's so it's not. Hold on, hold on. It's not as much admixing going on as people think. And the Coptics, oh. the Coptics, and Amir uh, and Gozi can can speak on this. The Coptics kind of stuck to themselves. They didn't do a lot of admixing and uh, 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 like that. They kind of stuck to themselves. So the population kind of remained as as it was. So it's not a lot of mixing as people think. When Arabs came, they came uh, 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 bringing and they changed politically. They didn't change the genetic composition of the people. Because first of well, all, when the Arabs came in, they only came in, I think, maybe 4,000 or something like that. They didn't they change the entire population. So, I want they, Amir, they, Amir they, and, then goddess can, and then Goddess can go. But I just want Amir to piggyback on that real quick. Yeah, oh, yeah, wait, they only, they, wait, wait, no, wait, wait a minute before, wait, before you hold do Hold on, no, this is my show. I'm just trying to get a point across. OK, uh, go, yeah, ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Amir. Go ahead. When the Arabs came in in 640 AD, they only turned a population turnover with the elites, not the overall population. The same thing with the Greeks. And the same thing with other people. They didn't change the overall composition of the in indigenous Egyptians. That's why when Brother um, Chief um, X brought up the 68 percent, there's a 32 percent that's absent and distinct out of 68 percent of the overall DNA composition. But even when you break that down in layers, only 17 percent of that belongs to the, you know, um, integration that occurred. 
So with that being said, the overall DNA composition, if you look at the people in Minya, if you look at the people of Gurner, if you look at the Saadis, um, the people that they call peasants, Fellahins, those people have a, a very, they have a continuity in, in feature. And you can see this. And if you look at the recent studies of limited DNA status, because I'm not saying overall DNA, you can see the continuity with the mighty conjure DNA. And you can also see amongst modern Egyptians, the Y chromosome is still highly indigenous. EV22, Here, EV which is North African, and EV12, okay. which all come out of EM78. If they, were, if, they were, if they were Arabs, they would be predominantly Y chromosome J. They don't have that. They have a unique Y chromosome that's indigenous to that portion of Africa. And yes, their skin tone range. They can be light, lighter skin, and some of them can be dark like some people in North Sudan. But morphologically and in morphology, that phenotype, you can see the continuity amongst them. So skin tone is not the thing, whether they're dark or light. We're trying to explain that the population there, there is a consistency amongst them. And you can see this based off okay. the available data that's out there. Okay. Let me just say this, then, oh. and, I, and I'll leave that point for a larger debate. I knew if it. you're saying 68% of their DNA um, is the DNA of the people that have been there for generations, how much of my, now look at me, how much of my DNA do you believe is European or other than African? I'm looking at you. I'm just, this is postulation. Looking at you, you may be probably about 15 to 20% European. So, so I'm saying to you, don't I, don't you think I'd look very different than my grand great, great, great grandfather who was on the continent of Africa? I mean, you have, I mean, of course you do it. You have a okay, lot of changes you. that occurred. Of course. Thank you. I want to. Well, what's your you. great, great but grandfather's you. name? It was <laughs> on the you. continent but, of Africa, Jabari. But, but, yeah. but Jabari, but when I, but Jabari, but Jabari, when I see you, you still morphologically look highly sub-Saharan, Western, Central Africa. And you there are many people it. in Tibet that do. Everybody so today, had to ask you today, about, today no. there are many people that do. Um, you have in, so, you have in, intermediate morphologies in certain parts of Upper Egypt. Sure. So, so, hold on, I, I think the hold on, hold on. Let me let yeah, let me sorry, let yeah, the sister freedom to come in. quick because they want to get in. Let me ask the sisters. Let the sisters get in too. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. Well, let's just make this clear. Oh, hi everybody. Hi, Chief Chief S X. Hi, Amir. Delta Masih. Hi, Sanetta. Okay, let me ask Jabari this question because um, Jabari, you go over to Egypt. You know the majority of the people; those people are not the original people of Egypt. Egypt, the name that came from Greek, the Greeks' invasion. But let's make this clear: Muslims do not deal in shirk. They do not deal in. I don't know why I hear echo, but somebody echoing. Let me make sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on mute so you can go. Okay. They would never have made any um, the, the way the the carvings of people and all of that in the walls, um, the the body statues, all that would not have done that. No way, shape, fashion, or form. They are not the original people of those lands. Egypt came through invasions. Egypt. Now I'm not talking about Kemet or Tamari. I'm talking mm -hmm. about Egypt came through invasions. The Greeks invaded that. That's where the name Egypt came from. But the Muslims don't even call it Egypt. They call it. Monsieur, Monsieur, Monsieur. So what I'm saying when I, I, I could have sworn I heard Chief X tried to make it seem like those people were there, but they weren't. They came through invasions. That And the only reason why they keep it like that, because we know that Napoleon only was there for three years, but. The only reason why they keep it like that is because they make money off the tourism. That's the only reason why. But other than that, Muslims don't deal in pictures. They don't deal with creating bodies and all this here kind of stuff. They they don't do it. Well, Sister so, Freedom, let me I, let me just I have say two questions for you, brother. Gerard. Sister Freedom, if I could respond to Sister Freedom very quickly, um, Sister Freedom, you've given a really basic. Um, a thumbnail of why some of what we hear from our brother Amir and our bro and brother Ngozi and brother Chief X is incorrect. Because what ends up happening is we have invasions from the Persians, the Assyrians, the Greeks, the Romans, the, um, the Mamelukes and Arabs, the French, the British. Absolutely. We're talking about literally, literally over 2,000 years Absolutely. of people coming in. And they'll also say to you, well, the, the Mamelukes only brought 4,000 people. That You're talking about an initial invasion. After they took over Kemet, 
people continue to migrate to the region. Absolutely. So, so this is part of the the challenge of, of what. Jabari, can I ask you? Can I? Let me go on one question. Wait one second. Ask, ask, I just ask him one question because majority. No, of I want to finish. Delcy, I'm a Delcy. Just let me finish. Then you could get with whatever you want to say. Okay. I'm not saying that during the invasions. You see what I'm saying? Somebody couldn't have had sex with somebody and mm -hmm. made a child that looked like it was mixed. You That's see right. what I'm saying? But you talking about the Arabs coming over, and keep in mind you're only Arab because of the language that you speak, but we're dealing with these these people now that are calling themselves Arabs, right? Yeah. We talking thousands of years went by, so if somebody did screw somebody or whatever. No, they're not calling it, themselves Arabs. But some, but, I'm but not some, even finished but, up. They don't call themselves Arabs? But they're some, not calling themselves Arabs. Every, all the Muslims I what's do with I am Muslim. What's the official name of Egypt? Uh, 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 what's the official name of Egypt? E Egyptians Called them regardless of what the Egyptians called themselves. The Egy hold on, I'm, I'm about to say, I'm about to, I'm only making a sentence. Let them say Egy it. Egy Egy hold on, sis. Egyptians call themselves Egyptians, okay, or North Africans, okay. They don't, they, 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 so now, own, they the own, own, oh, god name? dang. So, they answer own, my question. They own, I'm about to hold on. You, yeah, yeah, I want own, one at a time. Just let she finish, y'all. Let them finish. I was they only. Yes, they open. only they only <laughs> embrace the Arabic religion in Islam today. They the don't Arabic consider, religion. I just showed you, Egypt is only seventeen percent Arab. They what? embrace Islam today, and they Keep speak. Back. Oh God, they well, embrace geez, Islam. Oh my question. God. No, I have a question for I you. I know. I'm, let me just finish my hold sentence, on, hold though. On. Hold Everybody on. Everybody, go on mute and let the man finish. He would have been finished already, y'all. Huh? Let them they, finish. They, 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 they only embrace Islam and speak Arabic. That's it. But they do not consider themselves Arab. So well, I have a question based on. I mean, I wasn't finished, so But you were just asking the question. But based on what Chief X just said, wait, I just want to say really quick. I want him to answer the question. Africa, He's wrong. He's wrong. The West Africa are Muslim, Chief X. Right, majority all right, all right, of All right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. The, Everybody the, the, hold on. He said he was going to answer the question he this did. This is Chief X show and Ngozi. And so I want them to. um to go ahead and speak, but I'm just bringing y'all in to ask questions. But this so, is Chief, what was the question I asked? What was your question, sir? What is the official name of Egypt? Oh, the Arab Republic of Egypt. Oh, the Arab Republic. Yeah. Where did I mean, you, you get know, that I, from? Well, let me tell you, because <laughs> Arabs took over and they came with the sword of Islam, brother. That's, and that's white and, work. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That has nothing to do with their genetic makeup. Oh, it has it's nothing just, to do with the people. No, it they doesn't. They call themselves no, Arabs, no, but you say they don't call themselves no, no, Arabs. No, it doesn't, because okay. you have you have uh, you have uh, okay. um, Arab uh, and, and Muslim um, Sudanese up in there. Yeah, it you doesn't do. mean that they're just Arab. They embrace the religion of Arab. Islam. You said they don't call themselves Arabs. So they I speak you Arabic the and they the embrace the religion was. of Islam, but that's not what I they asked are. You what the name of the country was? You said I they did. don't call you. them. Wait, you said they don't call. No, themselves I'm telling you Arab. what the name of the country is. I'm talking and about the individual. The, the individual people do not okay. call themselves Arabs. Sure. I'm talking about the individual people themselves. How many times have you been there? Okay. If you guys are going, if you guys are going to use this angle of you haven't been there, so you don't that that's that's the childish but I'm talking, angle. You're, you're saying that you've talked, but to the people, what but I you've it, never it, been it, there. What, it, do do your video later addressing this video and deal, deal with my points I made. I will. I, I, people are going to bring up all kind of other narratives I will, and I skirt will. around the stuff I presented. I will. I will. And they're not going to talk about what I pre specifically pre presented. No, no, that's the reason why. What I, I specifically no. presented were facts, and I proved. I wouldn't do that to you, Chief. Okay. okay. Yabari, I would not I do, do that to you. Wait, can, Yabari, I ask, can I ask Ngozi and Chief X a question? But yeah, I've been trying to ask you. Africa Yabari. are Muslims. So yeah. how do we know which of those Muslims that are in West Africa mm -hmm. are invaders because they're Muslims? And how many do we know that are actually indigenous to West Africa, but they their religion has been changed over time? Can so I, let me make sure my question is understood. Majority of West Africans follow the religion that is Muslim. How do Correct. we know which one of them are invaders? And how do we know of which one of them are actually indigenous so, to West Africa, but their religion has been changed over time? So can I can I say can I can I can I can I can I can I say something? 
Sure, Can I ask you a question? Go ahead and go. Through. So my mother's side of the family is partly of the people that cause a lot of Islamic jihad. It's called the Pula of Fulani, right? So we know who they are, and they're black Africans who were Arabs. Um, a lot of those people in West Africa is predominantly West, p- predominantly West African. Genetically, they're, they're, they're genetically, they're predominantly West African. So this goes and applies, and I'm glad you brought this up, kind of. This applies to the same thing with Egypt. Even though the Egyptians practice uh, Arab custom and they're part of the Arab League, they are still not genetically Arab the same way the West Africans are not genetically Arab. West Africans are West Africans. It doesn't matter if you're Fulani. It doesn't matter if you're Malinke. It doesn't matter if you're Yoruba. Those people are West Africans. That's what they are. Some the people predominant- try to say... Some people try to say that the Pula or the Fulani are not West Africans, but they don't know shit about the Sahil. Those people yeah. are, are, I don't want to curse, but those people are West Africans. But they practice a culture that came from Arabia the same way Americans. The same way the North pro- the same way North Africa, right, practice a, co- a culture that came from Arabia. And even when the Arabs came in in 641 AD, they was able to differentiate the difference between Bilal El Sudan, which is Nubia that we call the Sudan today, and Misir, which is Egypt. They look the Egyptians look totally different than the population in Bilal El Sudan. And I, I so I, I that's just my answer, and I'll let Chief X answer it. Can I answer too, please? Uh, well, first, oh, wait, no, please wait. Can I, Chief I, had X, my hand I asked on. Chief X and Ngozi, please. Can they answer I can first? Yeah, Ngozi covered that well. We can move on. Okay. I'd um, like to I'd like to respond really quickly. Go Very ahead. Quickly. I'm gonna go right after you. Already? The predominant religion in West Africa is not Islam. That's all I'll say. That there, there are a lot of really easy errors that the two of you are making. And somebody and in the chat said, "I've never been. I, I, I was in Ghana." If, yeah, if I know you went to Ghana. You, you, you and I have talked about Ghana, right? Somebody you in the and chat. I were on, if you guys yeah. haven't, if, if a lot of you guys, if you guys didn't watch this video from the beginning, get out the chat and rewind it and watch the video. <laughs> right. Calm down. Well, I hate well, when people, people they open up. Hold on, hold on. They open up a book in the middle and then act like they know what the conversation was about. Rewind this thing to the beginning and go back. How long was you in Africa, Chief X? Uh, no, we? I went to Ghana. I went to Ghana for my fifth. I went to Ghana for my fifth. I went to Ghana for my fiftieth birthday. Oh, okay. So how long did you stay there? Two weeks. Oh, okay. You learned so much in two weeks. But let me just say this: a lot of y'all might don't, might don't know the religion or how. Um, Islam spread across Africa through. Now, let me tell you something about the prophet. Now, which Morpheus was on here? No, I don't think. I don't. I'm not finished because the reason why I'm not saying it was a nice thing. Somebody's yeah. I'm not telling you it was a nice thing that um, Islam spread around Africa. Some people accepted it on their own, but a lot of people didn't. After it started. The Arabs went into Egypt. They are not original Egyptians. They they can claim to be Egypt because it's now called that. But they're not original. But And you said something else. Because all of this, anybody who's Muslim would know that no original um, Muslims would have made those things. So that's here nor there. But let me hit you. What happened to Jabari? Because I want to make sure I said this while Jabari was on here too. Because you said something else about the Cherokee. And you said something else about the people, the native, um, or if you want to call it indigenous people of these lands and, and them not intermingling with the um, people that we call African Africans now, um, that they didn't intermingle, right? I don't know how you would know that because, you know, you are here 400, 400 years later. But I'm still saying to you is that I got this question that I want to ask. You know what I'm saying? You saying that that didn't take place, that the mingling didn't take place? No, I, I, I didn't say it exactly like that, sis. Okay, because I'm trying to figure out. I'm, the the yeah, question's no, no, always going to be Why don't you ask me what I said to get clarification? Okay. The question's always going to be asked to me is, they enslaved the people that was on these lands that already looked like the dark-skinned people from another land. Then they get to people from on the other land and bring the people here. And how do Sinetta got both things in his DNA if it didn't happen? 
So I can tell you Shanetta's story. Shanetta is going to have Native American in him because Shanetta is part Puerto Rican. And, and his, oh, that's his, fine. And his, that's his, fine. Native American, his Native American layer is from the Taino, the Arawaks of that island that mm-hmm. his father And so up. is the Jamaican. Listen, listen, sis, listen. Uh, no, this, this, I, so is the so Jamaican. Hold on, hold on, hold on, listen. It makes sense that Brother Shanetta will have Native... Most Latinos, whether they are... I don't even know why they're all... Sis, you got to listen. Got gotta listen. Already on these names. Yeah, yeah, I, I, all I'm saying is most people of Hispanic descent will have a high percentage of Native American in them. If you're Mexican, they're highly Native American. If you're Puerto Rican, you're going to have ranges between 13 or 14 percent Taino or Arawak that was in you. In the Jamaica... Okay, but that's on, hold 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 on, I'm almost finished. In Jamaica, in that portion of the Caribbean, the Arawaks was wiped out. So most of them people were imported black African slaves. You'll find a few of them, a few of them with smidgeless amounts of Arawak. It's not like Puerto Rico, where they had a long-lasting lineage that was able to be preserved amongst the populations, amongst the Tainos that was there. It so is it makes sense. Go ahead. I was reading something. All so right. Hey, hey, so um, hold on. Hold on. I did have got both yeah. in him. And hold, he's- on. hold on. Hold on. Everybody chill for one minute now. Um, I want to share this real quick and um, challenge Chief X and Ngozi. Um, What do you say when the Modern day Egyptians come forth and say to you that the original Egyptians was black. Let's listen. Come on. Egyptians were either tan skin or dark, dark Nubians. We don't say African Americans in Egypt, by the way. We say Africans. Now they he's on the continent. They on the continent. Listen to what he's saying, how he's describing them. Or we say Nubians. Okay. So to us, you are a Nubian. So that's why people keep calling me Nubian queen. Exactly. Okay. So okay. you are Nubian to us. You are Nubia. Nubian. So to the Nubians, we are Egyptians because we are the new Egyptians. The new Egyptians. He said the new Egypt. He said we are Egyptians because we are the new Egyptians. But he's saying as far as you go up, at, at the farther you go up, I think it's the farther you go up. So let's go. The Nubians are the native Egyptians. The ancient, they were right? the ones who built ancient Egypt. Mm. He said the ones who built ancient Egypt are the Nubians, are the we black ones. You need to see that girl on the passenger oh, side. Oh, quiet. Let's continue. <laughs> wow. Who built the pyramids, who built ancient Egypt civilization, who invented Egypt, as I would say, were the Nubians. So, Okay, so we hear uh, um, the new Egyptians saying that the original Egyptians were like the Nubians, who they call black. They didn't say black or African. They called them the Nubians. So um, what do you okay. think about that one, yeah, Chief? Can I, I, I was going to ask you. He said something very important in the beginning. He said the, yeah. Egyptians, he said the Egyptians was either tan. And or they were Nubian, right? right? He's talking about the higher you go, like if the you go, the altitude, it gets right. lighter, but right. the right. farther right. you go down into right. it, it's darker and right. darker where they right. built the pyramids and Correct. stuff. Correct. So, but here's the thing a lot of uh, so what he's saying, different Egyptians, when you go over there, would say different things because I can sit, I, I wish I can get the video, it's on Gamal's channel when the Egyptian uh, had the correct African American coming over there calling him an invader. And he said, no, 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 you're not, we're not, um, we're not invaders, we're such and such. So he corrected them on that. Those people in Egypt are tell, I don't know how the women look on the other side. He probably, you know, they, they, they do whatever it takes to get what they want. But I'm just going to say this. And, oh and, <laughs> but what I'm saying, no, no, seriously, <laughs> when you, when you go to Egypt, they sell anything. Like they, they the biggest, like I'm not making, uh, this is no disrespect to the Egyptian oh audience, God. but they, but they run a lot of, like they will try to sell anything. They'll tell you anything to get what they want. That, that's just what they do over there. So I don't, so, so, Make yourself right. so it is what it is. No, you have to listen to what Ngozi is saying on, on, because on, there's a girl wait. in the passenger yeah. seat he's talking to. Hold on for one minute. Cause I got more. That was just one Egyptian. What about this Egyptian? Go ahead, go ahead. What does it mean, dark skin? If you just see my skin, it's not just white. No, it's I like little him. dark. And because you know says, in condition now, less hot in Cairo. But when you go upper Egypt, I mean higher in Egypt, you will see that the skin starting to be dark, dark, dark. See? Correct. It's close. But he will see by his eyes when he go to Aswan and to Luxor, that's the board of Egypt and Sudan. All the Egyptians, just dark skin. We have. Are those the original Egyptians? Egyptians? They're yes. the original Egyptians. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Were they the ones who were building the pyramids down there and everything? Yep. The they, ones built the pyramids, it's dark skin. Oh. Were the pharaohs dark skin? The pharaohs was dark skinned as well. They were dark. What about the queen? We have uh, the king, and I mean, you mean, or the queen. The pharaoh and his wife. All right. They were all dark skinned. We have 7,000 years. Now, this is an Egyptian that's dead now saying that the original ones who built the pyramids were Look, black so, people. So, 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 I see yeah. the video and I agree with him because, but, but, but the thing that he's saying back then, 3,000, 4,000 years ago, there was no air conditioner. They was more exposed to ultraviolet radiation. They didn't wear, they didn't wear, they, 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 they didn't, they didn't wear turbans. So at this time, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing that he's correct about is they, they were darkly pigment, but. What people are not getting, he's not going to say that they were Negroids or Congoid in the sense of morphology, like populates from Western Mark. Central Africa. You talking about getting Johnny come lately words. Hold on, let, 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 me, let me address that. Go ahead, go ahead, Chief. Okay, put that back up, Saf, for a second. Don't put, um, just, just put where it is that? Up. There you go. What does it mean, dark skin? It's a you positive. Just... Now, this is what people have to understand so they won't get tricked. People make memes on social media. You have, what people, you have people do what you, people, this, this what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, to yeah. People do what you call confirmation bias, meaning you'll Google something that fits your belief and ignore everything else, right? Wow. So when you watch this TikTok video, and I always keep telling people, please stop believing stuff on TikTok. Because someone says dark skin does, does not mean black. Mm -hmm. There are plenty That's of right. people with dark skin so around the planet. Hold on, hold on, sis. Hold on, let me do on, this. Hold on, hold on, sis. Jesus let Christ. The man, let, the man, let the man get Listen, it out. When someone says dark skin, that doesn't mean it. I've been, I was in the Navy. I've been to, to Thai, Thailand, all them Asian countries, the Philippines. There are dark skinned Filipinos. Darker than Sara Sutton Seti. But doesn't mean that they're black. So people have to stop playing this pigment game because all people, whether you're in Cambodia, they vary in darkness and lightness. All people vary in melanin content. So saying dark don't mean black. Don't get confused. Now, when you look at this thing, you'll see at the bottom, here I have a cherry picked image of a person. Then as he's talking, they're playing a mind game showing you a dark person, which is a cherry picked picture. Then when you look at the top, you'll see the four men, they say. What they call that in Goldie, the four creation men or whatever. Um, the four races, excuse me. So when you look at the top, you'll see two Nubians dressed alike. And someone is trying to say the one on the far left is a commission. But it's a Nubian. So this whole TikTok video with this confirmation bias and them two Nubians up there acting like one is a Nubian and one is an Egyptian is a lie. I had to debunk that for a racist thing up the bottom because Afrocentrics made the Egyptians look like a Nubian. You see? The one on the left and the one on the second to the right are the same people. They're both Nubians. So the person who made this video and put these pictures together deceived y'all with mind games. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Okay, what I have a question about oh, these videos. Let this man talk. My God, I know I have a question about these videos. Just see, my skin is not just white. No, it's little. Bedouin does it mean dark skin? If you just see my skin, it's he not just white. He said Bedouin means dark skin. No, you hear it's himself? Little dark, because. In Bedouin oh, he said mean Bedouin. Dark skin. He said Bedouin. You just see my Bedouin is an a Bedouin yeah. is an Arab. He just right. said Everybody an Arab but dark skin. Everybody be quiet so we can hear it. Let's listen. Bedouin does it mean dark skin? If you just see my skin, it's not just white. No, it's little dark because in condition now less hot in Cairo. But when you go upper Egypt, I mean higher in Egypt, you will see that the skin starting to be dark, dark, dark. See. It's close, but he will see by his eyes when he go to Aswan and to Luxor, that's the board of Egypt and Sudan, all the Egyptians, just dark skin. We have... Are those the original Egyptians? Egyptians. They're yes. the original Egyptians? Yes, sir. Okay. Were they the ones who were building the pyramids down and everything? Yep. The they... ones built the pyramids, it's dark skin. Were the pharaohs dark skin? The pharaohs was dark skin as well. They were dark. What about the queen? We have... 
uh, the king, and I mean, you mean, or the queen? The pharaoh and his wife. All right, they were all dark skin. We have seven thousand years. Absolutely. Right, Dulcinea. Go ahead, let it out, Dulcinea. So, okay, first, the first guy was talking to someone my color, and he was trying to get in her pants, whatever. Oh, so, that's <laughs> real. That's yeah, real. Yeah, being queen and all that. <laughs> it was clear that he had a black girl in the in the passenger seat. But let's go with that one. That's so, right. for that video that you just played. <laughs> Is he saying that himself is an invader or is he saying that he was an originally part of the people that were darker skin and because of the people that mixed in now he has lighter skin because that's different from him calling himself one of the invaders versus saying that they have gotten lighter skin over time because invaders have come in and have mixed in with them and made their skin lighter. So let me get this right, Dulcinea. <laughs> you are saying because this new Egyptian is telling you the original Egyptians were black and because he's speaking to a woman of color, he's trying to get in her pants? He told her she's a whole uh, Nubian goddess. Did y'all not hear the beginning of it? Let me explain, son. Let me explain. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if Dulcinea is right. Let's hear this. Come on. Egyptians were either tan skin or dark, dark Nubians. We don't say African Americans in Egypt, by the way. We say Africans or we say Nubians. Okay. So to us, you are a Nubian. So that's why people keep calling me Nubian queen. Exactly. Okay. So okay. you are Nubian to us. You are Nubia. Nubian. So to the Nubians, we are Egyptians because we are the new Egyptians. The new Egyptians. The, okay. the Nubians are the native Egyptians. The ancient, they were right? the ones who built ancient Egypt. Mm, wow. Who built the pyramids? Who built ancient Egypt civilization? Who invented? Egypt. I didn't see nowhere where he's hitting on her trying to get it. Hey, you're not African American to me. You're new. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. That, that, man was, that, man was, that man was talking a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> okay. All right, you're going to say that, but let me, let me say this. People will switch and gaslight and manipulate things to make it fit them. Their, un, their unknown information. I mean, clearly, and you can play the one with Dr. Ben, he, too telling you the same thing so what i'm what i'm what i'm saying to you is chief x you just wrong point blank okay I'm that, let, me, let me ask you a question like, let me finish chief x please i'm not wrong if you haven't addressed nothing but in my presentation finish, i'm not wrong let can i finish yes you can but i'm just letting you know you didn't address okay, not I'm one thing in, and one make it thing in my presentation good. that's fine we're what talking you, about some you personal heard, beliefs you have say it you clearly heard the Egyptian. Uh, no, I did not clearly hear him say that. Oh my God. Oh, oh, like, come on, y'all. Okay, so let, don't let, say let, let, okay, let, let, so that. Not, what, whatever your name is, no, no, everybody relax come out. Everybody relax come out. We don't want to get it. We don't want to get crazy, uh, y'all. Uh, let, me know, a, now, let me give a shout out. Let me give a shout out. Let me finish. He's still no, talking. Yeah, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to continue, but I want everybody to calm down. Um, I want to give a shout out to my sister. Um, I was on her channel not too long ago. And um, I speak of none other than a uh, real talk with Lady D. Shout out to you, Lady D. I'm glad to see you here. And um, let's let Sister Freedom finish and Chief X. And Sister, don't try to uh, say nothing against with Chief X if you ain't see it. Just allow her to finish. Go ahead, Sister Freedom. Well, I'll, I'll be nice, Chief, Chief X. I apologize. I'm still going to say people manipulate situations to make their self sound right when they're not. They're not Egyptian. They're listening to Sa put an Egyptian on there to tell you what's real, and you still don't want to accept it. I'm saying anybody, not just you, Chief X. I'm saying anybody, right? The issue is and will always be if they are Muslim and they are in and they're Arab and they're in that land that they newly came into, if you want to say this. Um, back in um, 649, whenever it happened, they invaded into that place because Muslims do not deal in shirk. They don't put pictures on the walls and stuff. So no matter how you swoop it and turn it around and say that uh, people say stuff, 
uh, because um, they trying to get something on these TikToks or whatever. What is he going to gain by lying on his own people on TikTok? That's reaching as far as I'm concerned. It's reaching to say that this man was trying to get with this girl in the car because she's interviewing him. That is reaching to try to make yourself sound right. And you're not Egyptian. You're not African. That. I didn't say nothing about getting I'm, pants. I'm not finished. You're not Egyptian. You're not African. Um, you are um, American. Af you're uh, American, period. You're, if you got any African in you, you're a descendant of Africa. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I don't even know what all this is about because you, you can't speak for them people. They can only speak for themselves. And just to make yourself right, you don't call somebody else a liar. Okay. I, um, let, me, let me let me just address that real quick. I don't know what this lady is talking about. I don't you know may, what she's talking can about. Can you be quiet for a second? Hey, let's see, Beth, and I want you to ask me the question you were going to ask me. Jesus Christ. I don't know what this lady is talking about. I've made none of them claims she said I made about these people. You can pull any fringe person up to say any goddamn thing. You can pull this video that's sitting up there with an a Ethiopian flag on it. I mean, you can pull up anything that you're looking for. Man. My point is, and I said this when I went, when I, before I got my presentation going. If someone is not addressing what I said in my presentation and what I proved in my presentation, I don't know what they're talking about. I said people are going to bring up other kind of narratives and other topics that had nothing to do with my presentation. If you didn't see my presentation, just say that. You haven't addressed one thing that was in my presentation. I'm showing you exactly what the Egyptians were saying, not no strange guy on TikTok. Okay? I showed the writings the Egyptians said. I showed you who was Mediterranean people and who was not Mediterranean people. You're not addressing my video, so I really don't want to talk to you no more about this. Okay, I'll so, get but one more, one more, one more thing, Sonetta. One more thing, Sonetta. It's this brother named G. Lacan you just let on. I cannot have a conversation with him. I've tried a million times. He is very young and immature, and I think he has mental health problems. I would wow. prefer if you get G. Lacan off of here. All right, G. Lacan, I got to let you go. He don't want to talk to you, brother. But, Chief X, okay. you were saying something to Dulcinea. Okay. Can you ask me what you were going to ask me? Down. Get it down. I want to say thank you okay. to um, um, Chief X, and I respected you enough to say Chief X, and you know that I'm Sister Freedom, so I don't know why you said this lady, because that was disrespectful, because I didn't agree with you, and what I went by was what you were just saying. Well, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was confusing the two ladies' names. If I if I, if I I called you something you weren't, my bad. Excuse me. It wasn't oh, I'm my intent. A lady, I, I'm, right, wait, wait, wait. I'm, a, I'm a righteous guy. I don't have any intent. I come here in peace. I'm just saying. If you're not talking about my presentation and the points I made, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about what just came at your mouth a few minutes ago. You don't know what you're talking right. about. He apologized, All right. for, he apologized for that. And I want to show this real quick. Here's another. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, you were right. The ancient Egyptians were black. The modern day Egyptians right now in Egypt are Arab invaders. But you forgot one thing. The ancient Arabs were also black. The modern day Arabs oh, God. in the Arab Peninsula are Persian invaders. But honestly, when you do your research, you would find out that the ancient Persians were black and the modern day Persians in Iran are Greek invaders. But when you do a little bit of more research and more digging, you would find out that the ancient Greeks were black. The modern day Greeks in Greece right now are Roman slash Italian invaders. But when you do more research on that, you would find out that the ancient Romans and Italians were black. The modern day uh, Italians or Romans are Nordic invaders. But when you do more research on that, you would find out that the ancient Nordics were black. Is that I'm crazy. Thank you, Star. Hey, hey, go right there, y'all. A bunch of psycho babble. Thank you, I'm getting down. You only air by the language that you speak, not the color of your skin. sister, chill out. All right, Amir, go ahead, go ahead, and go. That's the danger right there that we're trying to that we're trying to fix. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that one. You got, you got this biracial black man telling people who's black and going. See, that's the exaggeration that has to be corrected in our community because you got stuff like that. And that don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't. And agree. I was going to ask a question based on that. I don't know what you were going to ask me, Chief X, but being that we even say if he was going to say all those ancient people are black, and then invaders came in, doesn't that prove that present day people are a mixture of the ancient people and the invaders? And how do we get to tell the present people that are there that they are invaders without any proof? to prove that they are invaders. We are literally taking away from them to say that they aren't allowed to say who they are because we get to tell them who they are. That's messed up. That is messed up. And we say they shouldn't do it to us. So how do we get to do it to them? Like if anything, they are still brown. So wouldn't that make them a mixture of the actual lighter people that came in and the original dark skinned people that were there? Yeah. So. Yeah, people, <laughs> people like to love to use this invader term because they think they're making a point. When I was clearly showing the DNA I showed of those people they found are MTDNAK. People can say what they want, but when you show the science, when you show the facts, nothing is in the favor of sub-Saharan Africans or what we call black folk. So people can wish and do all kind of TikTok videos and put a picture up and talk over a picture. All that is mind games. But let me, but see, hold up. I, that's where I disagree with you at Chief X because you can shoot a video in Africa and take the picture and upload it on, on TikTok. That don't mean it's not real because it's on TikTok. And that's what they did when you see them Egyptians. They were they, they showing memes. They were showing memes. And right, but they were being memes. interviewed by people and they would just take the interview and just throw it up on TikTok. You might even see it on YouTube if we Google it and you can find them probably on YouTube as well. So when you say you can't trust a TikTok video, I, I disagree with you on that one. Well, in, in, in general, TikTok is full of a bunch of mis misinformation, revised history, and pseudo history and people pushing things on one minute videos, which is not really scholarship. People are pushing their own personal agenda on TikTok is, is my point is. I mean, okay. there, there, there are some things that are, are, are good on there, but there's a whole bunch of trash on there. I agree. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel Omawali, what up, brother? Unmute yourself. Uh, can, you, uh, can you hear me, my brother? I hear you, what's happening? Well, I'm in Ghana. I'm in I'm, a, I'm in Ghana. I'm in West oh, Hill, in Ghana. Ghana. Right now, West Hill. All right. What's happening? Yes, uh, um, I disagree with Chief X. I agree with Brother Jabari and that sister. Because there's a lot of tribes in West Africa, they would tell you that they originated from Northeast Africa. There was a lot of migrations that went on in Africa. You you gotta be an oxymoron to think that these a lot of these African tribes just stayed in one area and didn't migrate or travel. We even have Africans that travel to America. So if they travel to America, what makes it so far-fetched that they didn't travel from Kemet to West Africa? In fact about it, they had a brother. He was African-American. He took a DNA test, and they traced his DNA back to one of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs. So you got to explain that. Can then I, we had Shek the Diop, who did the research on, on the Kemites, and he proved that the ancient Egyptians were, were, were dark-skinned people with kinky woolly hair. And the people you're talking about that's in the Philippines that, that passed for black, they, they're called Negritos. Those people have kinky that's not woolly what I was hair. About, sir. That's and, not what I was talking about. Br not, brother, you just I, said that they're not. No, no, they no, weren't, no, no. Uh, I, I wasn't talking about Negritos. If you want clarity. Well, well, I'm talking about these ancient Egyptians. The ancient Egyptians will be classified as black today. Okay. I feel that way. I hear they you. Get, no, I, I ain't going by what I feel. I'm going by what I know. Well, they, I, even got, I, they even got artifact, uh, artifacts okay, so let us proving that. Let us answer your question. So, answer so that, Amir. So when it, come to, when it comes to Ramesses the third Y chromosome, that a lot of African Americans, would even 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 side another Y chromosome match up with Ramesses the third. Yeah, that all, is true. That's all true. Us, all of us with E1B1A share that same Y chromosome with Ramesses the third. So that dude on a, on a video that you're talking about or whoever, he's not special. He's just like the rest of us with E1B1A. Well, brother, 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 they showed the statue. Genetics is not your lane. Listen. I'm, I'm almost finished. E1B1A, e e the, 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 the macro, the, the haplogroup E1B1A is 42,000 years old and it developed somewhere in Ethiopia, the eastern part. And then one branch branched off around 19,000 years ago and drifted into Sahara. And some of us became E1B1A1, which is E1B1A M2. 
and the Sahil and the Green Sahara before, before dispersing south. Another layer of it stayed east. It's called E1B1A2. And it's only found amongst Moda or Omotic people. So you had a unique cluster of E1B1A that drifted in the Sahara that didn't go south, that didn't develop the later downstreams that we have. So the one that was in the Sahara, some of them pierced their way back into the Nile. You got this great article you should read called People of the Early Green Sahara. It talks about a unique cluster of E1B1A in Morocco and another unique cluster at 5% of the populations in Egypt. So what I'm trying to say is, is that having E1B1A does not mean that you are directly Ramesses or, 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 or you are Egyptian. That marker predates Egypt and it predates populations that we descend from from a very long time. You just share a paternal ancestral lineage that's shared with so-called Ramesses that they believe is E1B1A. That's in question, but I'm going to leave it for that as now. So what I'm trying to say is that having E1B1A does not mean that, oh, that proved that we the pharaohs. That marker predates populations south of the Sahara and it predates populations in Egypt before the civilization happened. E1B1A it, itself alone is 42,000 years old. The downstream mutation of EM2 is 30,000 years old. E, the, the brother branch to us is EM215 that gave rise to EM35 is also 42,000 years old. They both spit off from E1B1 that came from EP177. So these little haplogroup markers, that's not enough to bound us together when a marker is that old. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's an old, very old, 42,000-year-old haplogroup. Oh, right? okay. And, Let me say even, this, brother. Hold on, hold on one Can second. Hold on one second. Hold okay. on one second. I'm, I'm, calm down. If you just didn't know this, it's okay. This is just not your lane. Just listen and go see. He's not going to lie to you. So it's such an old haplogroup. Even some North Africans and white folk have that on their 23andMe test yes, related they do. to Ramses. It doesn't mean these white folk are related to Ramses. It's a, it's a thing that 23andMe do for marketing. They make you get excited and feel good, and they just put that Ramses thing on there. Oh, Dad. it's a lot. It's a lot of people connected to Ramses <laughs> on that because it's an old ass forty five thousand year ago haplogroup. group. People need to wake up about that and stop trying to use that. <laughs> okay, what I'm okay. What I'm gonna have to say about that? The statue that they showed, the brother looked exactly like that statue. He resembled that statue that that pharaoh that he was that he's uh, that he's a descendant from. Let's so put, you gotta explain hey, hey, that. You can and then another thing, picture, listen, brother, kind of, I'm not done, brother. I'm not done. No, but I'm and I'm not done. You know the Yoruba people of Nigeria? I talked to some of them. They told me they're not originally from West Africa. They migrated from Northeast Africa. They would tell you that. That's in their oral tradition. Can I ask you a question? My Baba Lao told me that. Can I say something about that? He's touched about this many times. Some of the Europe, some of the Yoruba say different things. Some say that Oduduwa came from east some of them even lie and say they came from mecca or they exaggerate and say they came from mecca and that's based off a because they don't know its origin but the yoruba starts in ile ife and they develop in the situ and a lot of their ancestors came from the early sahil or the populations in the nook way before ifa itself or yoruba as an ethnic group is only as an ethnic group not their genetics not their pop not the populations that make them up but as the ethnic clan or ethnic group is only two thousand years old so they went through a lot of changes but a lot of their earlier ancestors came from the Nook people. And the Nook people was exchanging millet from the early Sahil. They went all the way down to Igbo land because all of those people are related, but they make up these stories. So based off the story of Oduduwa, or Oduduwa they, some, some of them say that he came from Mecca. Some of them say he came from Egypt, but he didn't come from either place. Oduduwa is the earth deity in Ifa, if you deal with the Orishas, right? So you got to be very mm -hmm. careful because even, even like, like, like some of the Pula, if you talk to some, some people that I know directly, my relatives, they are lying and say they come from Bilal. And they said that the Fulani is Arabs, and they're not. Their population that stayed in the Sahil, they used to venerate a deity called Jinno, and their pastoral is nomadic from the ancient Green Sahara South all the way through the Sahil before they became the, before they became the Fulani in Senegal when they mixed with the Sahir. So once they go to Senegal, you start to find the Pula start to form and shape when they mix with the Sahir, a brother branch to Wolof people. They all split from that same. So you got to be very careful when these people make up these stories, because you got most of those black Africans, I'm talking about Mandinka Muslims, um, uh, Malinkes, Mindy groups, Fulani, they lie and say that they come from Arabia too. And they don't. They're just saying it because of the faith that they practice. So you got to be careful with oral tradition. The people, the Yoruba people are not from nowhere else, but if they came from anywhere else, uh -oh. some, of they, some of their ancestors came from, some of their ancestors came from the Sahil. That's where they came from. Uh -oh. All right, all right. Let me bring in my brother, my brother, who have traveled the globe, who have traveled in and out of Africa.
Africa, the continent of Africa. I don't know how many continents you've been to, brother Jojo. Capone, out of Chicago. What's going on, brother? Talk it's, to hurt, it's hurting my ears to hear what I'm hearing. So, <laughs> Talk to me. What is going on, bro? It's like I, I, everybody got their own theories and they saying all this. That's like they taught us that the nose of the Sphinx got shot off. That was a lie. That come from weather conditions. People right in Egypt would tell you that all day long. People that saying they're scholars act like they don't know about colonization. So you're going to come with this hold the climates in Africa and say that they're Mediterraneans. Like, what, 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 is, man, what is going on? Jojo Capone, can I ask you a question? Please do, Chief X, because you're breaking yeah, my heart. No, no, I'm not. You, 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 listen, I show, did you watch my presentation from the beginning? Yes. From the yes, beginning. I watched from the yeah, beginning. Okay. okay, so you showed, you seen clearly when I put up, is Egypt a Mediterranean country? You seen clearly that it said yes. Egypt is a Mediterranean country as well. Hold on, hold on. As well as every other North African country. I didn't make that up. You're arguing with, you have to argue with geography. That is a fact that I said. I also showed scholarship that Egypt was the preeminent force in the Mediterranean world. I did that. So now what you are going to do is be in denial of that because your belief got destroyed. It's okay to change and say, what? I did not even know that. I now didn't let me, consider now that. Let, now, so now I let me, showed you that they were Mediterranean people. It wasn't no theory or something I just came up with. It's a reality. Go ahead. You too? Now I'm going to stop you because you can't tell me what I believe in. So they, they, once again, you're wrong. So I'm going to show you right here because what you're speaking on. Oh, man, I can't flip this camera. But right here, it says list of, of, of countries in Asia. Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Brunei, Cambodia, Cyprus. And they're going to have, look, India, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Japan, Jordan. They'll have some African countries on here and says that it's, it's, it's Asian. List of countries in Asia. Then when you go to Africa, okay, so I'm still on I'm still on list of countries in Asia. Pakistan, Palestine, Philippines, Qatar, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Syria, Turkey on down. Now we know that Turkey is in between Africa and Asia. I mean Europe and Asia. They got Yemen on here, Vietnam, United Arab Emirates. Now, they have all this as part of lists of countries in Asia. Now, this is from countriesoftheworld.com, since y'all say your sources. Okay. Then, when we go here, lists of countries in Europe, Armenia, Australia, and it goes down because it goes from A to Z. Okay, what's your point? My point is... The same way that you're saying something about Mediterranean. Okay, so let me ask you this, because you because you said that the the cataracts. The I'll, I'll teach you. Go ahead. You ain't gonna teach me nothing. Okay. But 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 you got the cataract. You said the cataracts didn't move and all that, and Jabari proved you wrong. No, I didn't say that. You did say that. I don't. Think you you, you put my you put up a guy. You put up a guy. That you you was backing his point of saying that the cataracts didn't move, okay, Jojo, so it was on, impossible me, me, to travel. Let me help. Let me let me just help you focus. Are you talking about cataracts? Or are you talking about Mediterranean people? I, I'm, you're confusing me right now because you're all over the place. Stick with no. one question. What's your question? Uh, I'm gonna jump around like you jump around. No, no, you but smart, I, I, you're I'm intelligent no, no, enough. Let's not, Jojo. I'm trying to have an adult conversation and understand you, so I'm letting you know. If you have a question, be specific for a minute so I can answer your question. Are you talking about cataracts now? But at first you were naming all kind of countries in Europe. You were naming countries in... in, 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 in. Slow down, slow down. No, Jojo, slow down. I got you. I got you. I'm, I want to hear you out, I'm trying to say. You were listing countries in Asia and you were listing countries in Europe. Then you went to talking about catara cataracts. You, you're confusing me. 
nail down what you're trying to say and, and, and I don't know get the first question out and then you can go to the second one so what you think you did your whole presentation okay, this is what why you I'm did asking you, you confused you... the hell out of okay, whole no, lot I, of I us. didn't Jojo let me clarify so you can understand you sound crazy Jojo calm down you're getting nervous calm down what I'm nervous I ain't nervous I don't know why you're ju it, it, I just um, had a full body why? massage I don't There's know no why you're erratic and all over the place I just proved you're erratic <laughs> I get it from you Jojo, I'm showing you Jojo, you. I'm Jojo, a mirror Jojo, of you. Jojo, Jojo, all right, down. all right. Let's calm down. You're Everybody making this calm personal. Down. I'm Come telling on. you right now, I'd like to have an adult conversation. All right, all right. Hold on. You're Everybody, not... hold on. Go ahead, t -Facts. What's What yeah, you want to say? Right. I'm trying to tell the guy I want to have an adult conversation. So I'm trying to say relax for a second so we can understand each other. All right, go ahead, so t What you were saying, I wasn't understanding you because you were talking about three, four different things, okay? If you've seen my presentation from the beginning, I said and I showed Egypt is different in regards to its geography than other places in Africa because Egypt is crazy. a transcontinental country. This is a fact. It's connected to Asia, it's connected to Africa, and it's connected to the Mediterranean. It is in Africa. This, okay, so this is, I didn't say it wasn't in Africa. I agree. Man, crazy, man. I'm, I'm not crazy. Listen to my words. Yes, You're you crazy are. if you, you can understand. You're delusional or something. No, no, something Jojo, wrong with Jojo, you. calm down and listen to what I'm saying. There's no way around this. I'm, oh, Daniel, can you stop interrupting? What what continent? Gonna, what continent? Jojo, is Egypt let me on? finish my point so you can understand what I'm saying. It, it's, your point is irrelevant. Zanetta, I can't talk to certain people, bro. All right, but all right. you can talk over everybody. No, no, else. I'm not trying Most to. I'm trying to explain African, something, Jojo. It's on the African continent, and those people that are in Egypt today are still African. What are they if they're not African? Okay, so this is my point. Egypt is. It can, three things can be right. You can be part of the Mediterranean world. You can be part of the African world. Are you denying that? And okay, and you can be no, part no, of West you, Asia. I, I had to make your point real quick. Um, it's West. It, it, there is there is it a transcontinental country, and they have a, that unique thing about them because they are connected in that geography to the Mediterranean, West Asia, and Africa. Okay, Ghana's not connected to any other countries like that or any other areas. Okay, it's a difference between the geography of some people on the continent. That's all I'm saying. I didn't make that up. I'm not wrong about that. I showed that. This is what I'm saying. You must not have watched my presentation. All right. Hey, 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 can I, can I add could on? I, could I talk now? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, brother. You said that they're not... You said Ghana is not connected. It's one continent, bro. What is you talking about? No, I didn't say that. You misunderplied what I just said. Let me repeat what I said. I said Ghana is not in a unique position geographically that Egypt is in. I said Egypt is connected to West Asia, Africa, and the Mediterranean. Ghana is not connected to the Mediterranean. Ghana is not connected to West Asia. What don't you understand about that? That's simple. One plus one equals two. So do you know the, the shape? Do you know the shape of the continent? Oh, that's another topic. So, God so damn! One, but it's it's to your point of what you're trying it's to say. It's not see. to my point. You're you're arguing. The only thing, you know, the only no, you're, country, you're, the only country, the only landmass of Africa that's disconnected from the, all of the continents is Madagascar. That's it. That's not my point. What you trying to? So Your what listening is listening comprehension is failing you, bro. Hey, you're I, you're trying I, so hard man. to get around the fact that you're confusing yourself. So you stop, confusing you, everybody. No, I'm not. I, I, it's can simple. I, can, I, can I add on? Can I add on? It's all very right, simple. All right, all right. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead and go, Z. I was going to say, based off geographics, right, all of the North African countries that meet the Mediterranean border, like Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, Egypt, it meets the Mediterranean border. Just like certain parts of Southern Europe meets the Mediterranean border, the Levant hits the Mediterranean border. It's called the horseshoe when you look at it geographically. No one, no, we are not saying that Egypt isn't Africa. It's completely Africa. When he read about 30 centuries, that's 3,000 years. And at one time, those North Africans were the rulers in, in trade in that portion of the world for 3,000 years. Those were Africans that controlled the Mediterranean bark of that portion of Africa. So the Mediterranean hits all of North African borders, and it hits all of Southern Europe, and it hits the Levant. So it's not it's not saying that um, Egypt or, or, or those countries are not Africa. Egypt is completely Africa. 
it's if you look up Mediterranean countries, they include North African countries, all of Southern Europe, Turkey, the Mediterranean, but it's based off the horseshoe or the Mediterranean Sea, where where it touches all of that, all of North Africa, all of Southern Europe, portions of the Levant, because the Levant is like a bridge that's slapped together at the core, all the way to the Mediterranean. So it's so I mean I'm sorry, all the way to the Levant, all uh, to Eastern Turkey. So it's not saying that um, Egypt isn't Africa; it's completely Africa. It's just that the northern portion of Egypt touches the Mediterranean border. When you go east, it touches the Red Sea, the Sinai Peninsula. So they call Egypt a transcontinental country because it's it, because it's on the border of going into the further portion of Western Asia. But that's that's something totally different. But geographically, if you look it up, all of North African countries that touches the bark near the Mediterranean Sea, they label that as Mediterranean countries in today's standard geographically. You see what I'm you get what I'm saying, um um Shot Town? I get it. And I have a question for all the hey, children. Hold on, hold on, no, Sinead, Sinead, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go there, I got to get Sankofa in the building, Sankofa, because I got to be gone in a minute, y'all. I got I got the 8 o'clock ship coming through. The city of Hard Knocks, Jabari, Smash, Reggie, and then, um, <laughs> so Sankofa, it's on you, brother. Um. Okay, so under my name, you guys can see my Paternal lineage and maternal lineage. I believe in Gozi. L3F, shares. L3F1B1. Yeah. I believe in Gozi shares one of these with me. Oh, yeah, I, your mighty country. You're Fulani, brother. <laughs> so when I when I when I research both of these, and I could be wrong, this is questions really for Ngozi. Mm -hmm. But when I research both of these, the Bisa, and mm -hmm. they're coming out of Burkina Faso. Some uh -huh. of them are also located in Ghana. And I think mm -hmm. a few of them are also in Nigeria in mm -hmm. the Bamalika. You mentioned them earlier, didn't yes. you? Yes. So when I researched them, especially the Bamalike, I saw a couple of different sources that said that they came out of Egypt around 750 AD or at some point in time that they migrated from Northeast Africa. And there are a couple of different sources I kept seeing saying Egypt. Is there mm -hmm. any truth to that? It's most of the Bimalike is oral because the Bimalike live in northern. I mean, they live in Cameroon and they're related to the Tikar and different groups. So they have a Sudanic tie, but it's not Egypt. But they a lot of that's based off oral tradition. That marker that you and me have is a Sahelian marker. It it it, it has four clades: L3, F1, B1, L3, F1, B1, A, L3, F1, B3, L3, F1, B4, and L3, F1, B6. Right? It's a Sahelian marker. So a lot of Fulani have it, a lot of Bimalike, a T-car branch within Bimalike have it, and some populations in um in uh, East Africa still have it, clays of L3F. Let me so, ask you a question mm -hmm. off of what you said. Mm -hmm. So are we to ignore their oral traditions? I, I think that the, you got to look at the timeline. So when they say they come from Egypt in 740 AD, right? What was going on in Egypt in 740 AD and what was the population like at that time? That's why the timeline wouldn't make sense. Now, if we want to go back L3 F form a very long time ago in upper portions of Eastern Africa, is that is, what, what time period are they saying they migrated from those regions? Because at that, at that later timeline in 740 AD, that wouldn't make sense because the Bimalike have traditional systems in northern Cameroon based off relics and certain art, artifacts that was found that predate 740 AD. They're very I'm old gonna, people. Let me, I'm let me, just, let, let me interject. Let me, let me interject, Sankofa, and you can continue. So what Ngozi is saying, and what people have to understand, in modern times, what things people say is just like the Hebrew Israelites. They want to connect themselves to cultures or histories that they didn't belong to. So black Hebrew Israelites want to connect themselves to Canaan. You know, certain people in Yoruba religions or whatever, Islam, they want to connect themselves to Islam in the areas where Islam came from. So you have to be careful just believing oral traditions and what people just say because in today's times and modern times people want to connect themselves to all kind of things but it just may not be true last question i have go ahead brother um goodness gracious you guys sometimes make me lose my train of thought i'm sorry um the last question that i had um uh, goodness gracious I'm gonna go ahead and sign. I'm gonna go ahead and find the article and then. All right, we'll come back to you, um, um, Jojo. I'm go ahead, Jojo. My 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 whole thing was just like in today, since he's speaking of modernized now, right? All the Europeans and the Asians 
they mix together and continue to try to keep that lighter skin going. This is something a fact that we all see and know. It's not a fact. It is a fact. That's not a fact. So how many African cultures do you, you do, know if that? You do, if you do Japan you're not, and China. If you, if see what I'm saying? You're you do, not letting me speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. See what I'm saying about you? Go, calm down, man. So, go ahead. Stop being dramatic, nigga. So, Mr. Dramatic. Stop but all okay. this hysterics and go. God so, damn. Just like, so just like now, all the Asians will, 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 repro they, they will reprocroate with Europeans. It's a reason for that. So it's no difference than the colder climates in the motherland that they're doing the same thing. That's just what they doing. Okay. But when this guy get from there, born there, tell you that we know our people, we know our lineage, we know our history. But it's like what you spewing is all oh, these people here is not of this or not of that. When they all come from that. They all descendants from that. So you miss teaching. That's all okay. I'm saying. Okay, let me let me let me just clarify. What you just said was a bunch of nonsense and psychobabble. Okay. Right? It's some crazy psychobabble. If you go over there and test the DNA of Japanese, Chinese people, Cambodian people, Korean people, they do not have no European DNA. Cut it out, bro. Yes, they do. They Stop it, bro. If yes, you go they test do. The Stop. Listen. Si, you he don't know the do he quiet, don't know the videos I send that, you, you're, si. you're making up that you're sending false. Hoods. You need to send them to him though. Listen, I've been all over Asia. They don't have. They're not highly European. You, I've been all over Asia Jojo, too. Jojo, you. You're not you, talking to no let fool, man. Let me finish man. my sentence, Jojo. Listen, what are you talking about? Jojo, let me finish my sentence. You, Jojo, me, Jojo, Sanetta, Jojo. We have European DNA. You're at mixed. You got white boy in you. Get over it and be real. Some yeah, of us have 25. No, what a guard. I got 9%. Okay? You Some got more us, than me. Okay, good. Good. It's not a I'm competition. I'm 90% good. It's not a competition. I'm 86%. Good. Okay. We're not competing. Who has more white? That's just not being silly. My point is, black folk got European DNA more than any other people on the entire planet Earth. Why? Besides, besides Mexicans. Why? Why? Because of the slave trade okay. and us being under the foot of white folk here in America in admixing. You but got what I just said Hold about Asians and Europeans, you said sentence. I was foolish. Let me finish. You're foolish, yes. Now, if you, go over on, there if you go over there and do a DNA test on a J Japanese or a Chinese, it's not even going to say 2% European. You're the European. How much you want to bet? Can I please so, so, ask so, so, a question so, 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 after so, so, Suntan? Since you like to gamble. Please ask a question after Suntan goes. Go ahead, Suntan. All right, Suntan. Go ahead, brother. Can't um, hear you. What's up, Suntan? What up, Suntan? Yeah, I just have everybody doing out to the panel. My piece and my brother, South, my, my brother, 500 grand. Hey, look at here, man. Hey, I want to say this. this. Hey, how you doing, Dosene and um, Sister Freedom? I want to say this to Ngozi and to my man, my man Chief X. Now, Chief X, I want to ask you first: Have you ever wrote a thesis on any of these things that you talked about? Suntan. I'm just. I, 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 I know. I'm going to answer you. Calm down. Well, I, it's a quick answer. Yes know, or no? It, no, 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 no. I'm going to answer you. Calm yes down. or no? no calm down. Just let me answer. You, you keep no, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to answer, answer the way I want to answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. I'm going to be brief. It's not even going to be a sentence. Okay, well, don't ask nothing then. If you can't let me answer the way I want to answer, get off the panel. Suntan, let him ask. Let him answer you, Suntan. Go ahead, Chief. Suntan, and this is for the audience because we're giving clarity to people. I'm not no scholar. I've never claimed to be a scholar. I don't have a ba I don't have a bachelor's, a master's degree, or a PhD or an MD. So it's no good? need for me to write. Calm down. I don't write theses. Are I'm just there? a I'm just a person who enjoys talking about history like you do. So Are if you, you can sit here on this panel and d discuss history, and everybody else can sit on this panel and discuss history, so can I. Okay. You don't need to have a thesis to have a discussion. Are, are you done? Okay, so I, 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 what I did was I showed you people who do have theses. I shared their info, not my info. I shared the scholarship, not my info. Are okay, you done, so you're, in, just, you're just, come on, relax, man. 
Now, you None know, that look like us, though. Be quiet, Bro, Jojo. Go uh, ahead, Suntan. Um, oh, all right. All right. Let's, let, I, I, let's, let's let Suntan continue. Go ahead, Suntan. Brother, yeah. brother can go. Because I respect Yeah, I'm going to ask college. you a question. I'm going to answer your question. Brother, yeah, I, I respect you. Uh, well, before you answer, I'd just like you to know I've been watching you for years, man. Over six, seven years I've been watching. So I appreciate your scholarship. And the same question go to you. And just a quick answer. That's all. Okay, I, I'm, yes I'm going to ask you a question real quick. I just want to say, so I know the uh, brother Chef is in the background. I think he wanted to get on. He was supposed to be on the show with us. I think he's available now, Chef. So, um, but I'm going to ask you a question. No, I, no, I have not wrote a thesis on um, the population in Egypt. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, have wrote, I have wrote theses in school about organism divergence when I was in school, but I never wrote a thesis on what we're talking about now. No, I know okay, I have. Well, I'm, will, I'm willing to, though. I'm willing to. Okay, though. thank you. Thank you. Here's my question to both of you guys, because, you know, at, coming from a scholastic um, point of view, all we up here doing, we, we exchanging views and ideas, and I respect t facts. He just don't know it. He likes to control the narrative, but here's the thing. Before you can get out, and this goes for you too, and goes, before we guys can get out here and put out these definite yes and no's and yeas and nays about a certain situation. You have to have something that's been peer reviewed from your, from our standpoint of view for us to understand you and believe you. Chief X, you just talking. That means you just talking. You didn't see the because, presentation then. And the same with you. And that's go, what I'm saying. These people didn't watch the presentation, sir. Let them go. Let them go, this old chief. Let them go. And go. The same with you. I yes, respect sir. your scholarship, but the things, and you got to under respect what I'm saying. What we are hearing must have been peer reviewed. That way, we would know that other scholars have heard these things that you guys are spewing, and then we can go and make an opinion from there. And that's all I was saying. Can I, can I ask you a question? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm hand it over. Chief okay. Act, while I diligently will hand over your ideals and everything to you, but I will not accept them on the basis of your actions, man. You're not a scholar, and you're, making, you're putting an authoritative type of approach to your conversation as if to say, I'm right and you're wrong. And, right. and those that you don't do that, but yet and still, you project this thing like you are definitely right and the other person are wrong. But you can only do that if you've been peer-reviewed and it's been approved by a council of people, a scholar. So, so what I did, what I did, what I did, what I did today, since you didn't see it, no, what I did today, did. what I did today, yeah, I showed all the peer reviewing information. The brother who you believe called Smash Rockwell is not a scholar either, but you you believe 100% of his word. Okay? Because he hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I did source it too. Either yeah, you, either, 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 hold on, hold on, Suntan, Suntan, calm ahead, down. Brother, You're I'm lying here. right now. Okay, no, if everyone's seen every everyone's every, every suntan. Calm down. <laughs> every, calm every, down every, I'm right, trying to say right, something. Right, hold on, everyone's hold on, seen hold on, Jesus man. Christ, man. Go, go, suntan, go, you're getting nervous. Everyone's seen my presentation. <laughs> seen, I showed and proved, and I showed everything that was peer reviewed. I showed the genetics. I showed everything. I showed what the scholars said. I put up Memphis University, and I showed what they said. I showed it all. You're just in denial because of your belief, and it's okay. It's you. you now that's what I said. It's not. It's Chevron needs to be talking after after me right now, anyway, because Chevron just came on and he's supposed to be part of this. Suntan, just go back and watch. If I said anything wrong, point it out. You haven't pointed out anything I said in my discussion because you know it wasn't wrong, but you didn't see it anyway. You just no. come on here late, okay? So I, I would. Is. Okay, cool, cool. I, we heard you. You're okay. done. But Can I remove everybody? A real quick question for Chevron, please, really quick. And it's, Go ahead. it's I'm, I'm uh, with, this, with Chef. Okay. It's with you, Chief X. See and well, with Dan so Gozi and with Chevron. So first, I want to say really quickly, Sankofa, that headline shows you're European. But anyways, but I want to go into as far as the the whole asking a question about this portion of everybody calling these people invaders. And you're saying that the people that are proving that they're not invaders have no scholarship. Isn't scholarship, if you're going to say that they're invaders, you should be able to say which empire they invaded from, say when they invaded and where they came from. None of you guys can say where they came from. None of you guys can say what empire they came from. All you guys will say that they are, they are invaders. So please be specific. 
and tell us what time period they invaded and where they came from. Okay. Can I say something more you want to, I don't know what you want somebody to do. Um, now, do you want us to be specific today or do you want to talk about it later on in Unspent Minds? Because they are invaders. And they did come through invasions. Okay, okay. We, so, we already talked about I this invasion. I asked what empire they came and when they came. Who are you came? talking to, Dustin? Who, who are you asking that question to? Can, well, I mean, are you going to say they're invaders? Whoever says they're no, invaders. No, no, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying that. But what I'm saying is I don't want to keep – Sinetta has to go and do another show. We've talked about this invader thing. I don't know why we got to keep going back over it. I would when like to hear, I would, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, goddess. We're trying to show respect to Sarnetta's time right now. Okay. I would like, if, if we can remove everybody except Ngozi and, and Sheffrin right now. I appreciate y'all questions. Thank you. Well, that's because they agree with you, right? No, no, because wanna, this is our show we're trying to talk about. Go, knock it off, man. Nicely, even if they walked in nicely, Delsonera, they ain't, they ain't, they are not it. Okay, cool. Thank that's you. that's what I want to say to you. Rather, if they walked in nicely or invaded, means they're they're not you should original. know who they are. Invaders is not you who they are, so you should know you where know they're they from. Are. So if, if you don't if, know where they are, oh, everybody else has some more. Uh, some but more even if he told you, you, would you know? Because you don't know. The God, so, sister God, y'all going to argue back and forth. You're never going to come to a conclusion. Let's move on from the invader topic. I just ask, please, please, move on from that invader crap. They Jews mixed in all kinds. Sonata, we can't hear you. You're muted. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all. Y'all got the... Okay, let's move on. I appreciate y'all questions. Y'all can hit the exit button. All right, all right. Let me get them in here. This is they show. I got to hurry up and get them in here because I got to hurry up and... um. Exit Sunday. Jesus Christ. What all right, let me let y'all go right quick, y'all. Peace. Peace, y'all. I'm just waiting on I'm just waiting on Jojo, Jabari. Uh, thank you. See, I'm just waiting later. on we'll Jabari wait on to, to and, debunk and, you. And say that when you do it. Jabari can't debunk nothing. <laughs> all right, peace. Jabari peace, got everybody. killed today. Peace, peace. Jabari got body slammed today. That shit was That's strange. my brother, though, but he got <laughs> his right, ass whooped. All right, let's get it in. Chief and man, welcome to the platform. And um, I got to get ready to go, though, y'all. Damn, man. I know, I know, I know. I was, I was still working. Um, I mean, yeah, it was. Um, I think Chief X, you did a good job. Um, you know, it was good that you condensed your uh information, right? Because your Black Egypt debunk, it was lengthy. So by you condensing it, I think you did a good job. Um, now they just going to pick on, um, small things. I, I think you know, um, and one of the things that I would like to say is. Uh, they have a problem with the um the phenotypic and the genetic diversity of Africa, right? The moment you see different phenotypes in Africa, the first thing people want to say is that they are invaders, right? When you look at Asia, you can see so many different phenotypes going from the Chinese to the Iranians to the to the people in Yemen, right, all the way to the people in Turkey. And you'll see that wide phenotypic diversity because it's a continent. But the moment you show divert, um, uh, phenotypic diversity in Africa, people don't want to accept it, right? So modern scholarship says that Egyptians are, and North Africans are indigenous Africans. So either we don't believe scholarship or we pick and choose when we want to believe scholarship and science. All right. Scholarship and science is saying now that North Africans, including the Egyptians, the Libyans and all of the different Berber tribes are um, genetically indigenous Africans. Now, we don't want to believe that for some reason. So, I mean, Chief X, I think you did a good job. And Gozi, you ain't get to speak as much, but, you know, I know you uh, share my same sentiments, but it was a good show. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yo, why you ain't coming earlier, uh, Sheffron? I, I was working. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I was listening though. I was listening the whole time. You did what I'm saying. Chef a barber. He was cutting hair. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hey, right. Before you go, Shanel, I know you gotta I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna let you know. Um, yo, I told you. I told you, Chief. This is the environment. The toughest environment. The toughest environment to be in. Being the toughest environment. The toughest environment. Environment to be Told you, man, this is the toughest environment. Oh, oh, you want it? Okay. It's progressing very fast. The 
incident took place Jesus, in Harajuku. Wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute, sir. You see that form? You see that form, sir? I can see it with the box, sir. I can see it. They caught a left hook today. <laughs> Let them know they caught a left hook. All right, so yo, I want to say peace and black power. Hey, close out. Um, in fact, close out. Close well, chef, out. Let Chef Ron close out, and then I'm gonna close, close out, out, Chef Ron. All right, yeah. Um, it, it was a good show. Um, and I'm glad the conversation is being had over here on um Sinetta Studios because out of our small channels, you got the biggest one, and we have been talking about this for the last three years. So I'm glad it's finally on Sign Data Studios where everybody can see the information that Smash Rockwell been talking about. What uh, you know, Dr. Reggie, he be on the different channels talking about it. Chief X is a big part of the conversation. And it seems like he's been um pushed out of the conversation, but he definitely been in it. So I I'm he's glad he over it. here Chief X started it, man. Yeah, yeah. So he over here and he, you know what I mean? So now they gotta deal with his information. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They got to yeah. deal with his information All and right. not his personality. All right, All right. come on, Angozi. It's on you. Close us out, Angozi. And before, before, before Chef go, people, please subscribe to the Carnivorous Podcast because these discussions and debates and going back and forth is going to be on Carnivorous Podcast. Subscribe and subscribe to Chief X. Go ahead, Angozi. Go ahead, Angozi. I'm going to say peace and love. Thank you all for allowing me to come on and speak. Hey, I'm just waiting to hear what Jabari and 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 and, and Smash and all them finna do next, man. It's gonna be this is gonna be fun. And thank you, Sir Nutter, for allowing me to come on. No doubt, me. no doubt. All right, close us out, Chief. Take us home, brother. Take us man, home. I, I really appreciate this. All I wanted to do was come on Sarnetta with a bigger audience because I don't get no views on my channel. I got a small channel, Sarnetta, so people don't come to see my information. But the reason why people are lost in the sauce is because they're not subscribed and they haven't been watching my presentations. If they watched my presentations, they wouldn't have got beat up today. They would have been new. <laughs> and, <laughs> so I appreciate you letting me on and bringing this information. And I, like I say before I go, if you're not dealing with the information in my presentation, you BSing people. Prove anything I said today out of that hour and a half I was going, you cannot pr prove one thing yeah, I you said. Man, it's three hours, man. Peace, brother. We out, y'all. Thank y'all. Peace. Y'all can see our way out. It's progressing very fast. The incident took place in Hallowed Ground. South Sebastian Abbey. This place has given the church problems before. I sense a great evil coming from there. Something dark that only you can help solve. I have requested the Abbey's records be brought to you in the library. Look into it. I will continue investigating while you are on your journey. Our sins will seek us out. Gabriele, go to Spain and help this child. But be careful, this demon sounds Dangerous. Time to set the stage with the lights off. Let the little nigga breathe to the fight sloth. You ain't never like the room with the bright sauce. Hail Mary, they despise what the light brought. Let them roach niggas bleed if they can't see. Side near the TV, what you can't be. They say that murder on my mind, now they can't breathe. Take a picture of the crew, that's your last peep. Oh, and need me or love, yeah, that's just me. Get them jumping like some frogs, so they might be a lead with the sunset. And they don't really want to bleed from the Playing like mine, nigga, smoking weed on the one way street, nigga. Yeah, we see we outside with it. Pull up to the base like we might be with it on guard. Side these niggas like bullshit and they fraud. Let me chop them down with the saw. Walk them down like they live hard. If this is tough as you gon' be in, we too hard. And you don't really want that smoke, my G. Would be side in a TV. This is the toughest environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment. Environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment to be in, be in. Q.
keep that off your lip for you get flipped. We got sauces over here, we don't just spit. Too many bosses over here, y'all just legit. Put them niggas in the game, let them get ripped. Don't even step unless you come in with that scholarship. That economic tip, gotta make a dollar flip. And I might be next, I don't give a damn a truth. Roll it with me, so I'm feeling like the son of man. Too many gon' hate, gotta make a stand. I'm just trying to duck the lake, you don't understand. Read them when I greet them, that's my best plan. Head first shit, I'm just saying. Nigga, meet me in LA, oh, you just playing. Too many be fake, what the bass saying. So I tell them they don't want no smoke before they end up in the newspaper next day. Smoke is the toughest environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment to be in. Be in. The toughest environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment to be in. Be in. The toughest environment, the toughest environment, the toughest environment to be in. Be in. The toughest environment. Ha, 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 ha.